everyone, welcome to round number seven of the European Chess Championship, Women's Chess Championship. We are going to see the games and it looks like I'm late because we already have a result here on board 29. I was just checking out the games and Luminita has made a draw against Alessia. This was a theoretical draw as far as I as I know. This is a theoretical line and it ends in a repetition. Bishop d2 takes here, bishop d4 and here e5. The rook on a8 is hanging, so rook takes e7 for example is a threat, knight a6 takes here. And this is how you get the draw. Takes here, rook g7, and now rook g7 and rook d7. Draw by repetition before move 30, but this is one of the cases when, in which you can make a draw. What else do we have today? We have some very interesting uh, matchups, very interesting game on board one. They are still. In the opening phase, White is thinking here. This was a Scheveningen. Let's see. e6, bishop e3, and now b5. Okay, let's see what White will choose here. I think g4 is an option, queen d2. We might see a very interesting game here, an attacking game. Here. Also fresh out of the opening, this looks like uh, an, um, an English, yes. What happened here? d4, right? Yes, queen takes d4, castles, and rook d1. And now bishop g5 is, is still theory. White should still be in the book, yes. And she has one, one hour and 25. Elena Danielian is thinking. I think knight d7 is an option here, a6, then, then knight can go to c5, knight a6 is also an option here. Many possible ways to, to continue. Board 4, we have Laura Wunuk playing with white, with Javakishvili Lela, and she's thinking. So, this looks like, what was this? What was this? C5. Okay, and E3. It's an interesting system. It's castle, knight f6. And now, what is the idea? Bishop b2 followed by d4? Or will she play with a pawn on c4, pawn on d3? But then she'll probably have to bring the bishop back, right? Bishop b2 looks like a, an option here, probably bishop e7. And here I think a system with c4 looks looks interesting. So e4, d4 can be played, I guess. But if I go with c4, I would like to bring my bishop back first. So maybe something like this, you know, castles, and now c4, if I want to play with c4. Knight to c3, pawn on d3, and and yeah, let's see. Let's see what they will what, what they will play here. We have Neymande on board six. She won a nice game on the previous round before the rest day against Marina Brunello. And how are we? What was this? This was d4. Okay. Queen's Gambit, e6. This very popular variation that we have seen before. Bishop g2, castles. And now she goes c5. Demante is still obviously in, in preparation. She takes here. 
knight takes and queen b6 attacking on d4 pawn takes d5 castles knight c6 takes takes rook c1 and here rook b8 so the idea is that the idea is that the pawn on b2 will be hanging yes so if queen takes here we have which way this way i think queen takes rook takes takes on d2 and now takes on b2 this is about equal but maybe black is a little more active just equal no knight f3 or knight b3 Oh, but on knight f3 there are ideas with knight g4. Knight g4 and on rook f1 maybe something like bishop b7 with the idea of getting bishop a6. So for example if here rook f1, okay then the a2 pawn is also hanging. So how do we defend f2 now? Without giving up any pawns. And I think this is what white is considering here so rook f4 rook a2 is not something that that i would like to allow but also how is this idea can i try and get bishop a6 and then takes on f2 maybe rook d6 and if i try something like rook c8 it will be too slow knight d4 maybe from white okay I guess rook a2, right? Maybe it's not enough because knight d4. And this pawn on d5, maybe bishop b7, rook b6. Okay, so we're going to lose the pawn on d5 and play with this passed pawn on the a file. Let's see what white will play because I'm pretty sure that she won't take on c6. So a move like knight c3 looks looks logical here. And knight a4. This is looks like a good idea. Knight a4 and knight a4 and I would like to create a blockade on c5. Knight c3 looks like a more logical move here than than taking on c6. I was just curious what is going to happen. Hello, hello. <laughs> so many empty chairs still. Not anymore, right? This was at the beginning. Oh, but our left camera. Our left camera needs more than one rest day. Let's see if we can get it back. It will at some, at some point come back by itself what other games do we have we have ellen here and she plays white she one one hour 17 versus one hour and three minutes this was a slap knight f3 uh-huh and here pawn takes c4 castle the knight f6 and now what will Ellen play? Maybe a4? Maybe queen c2? Maybe knight a5? Knight d5? a4 is typical, right? a4, knight e5, queen c2, get the pawn back. Do we have any, any interesting game? It's too early to tell. Only 45 minutes have passed, but is there anything happening already in any of the games? For example, what is happening here? This was a Karakan. The advanced variation. In D4. Black is obviously still in preparation rookie one and now what bishop takes c5 black looks good here unless something like bishop takes f5 and e6 is a threat 
So bishop takes c5, bishop f5, but on e6 there's always f6. Doesn't look like, I mean, takes here, and now something like this. But I'm not going to take on e6. Could play f6 or I could just castle. Bishop g5, queen c7. We can just castle here, I guess. This looks good for black. Doesn't feel like like white has enough. So maybe here, or maybe just take and and something else. Something like queen d3, something like no queen d3. Yeah, queen b3 doesn't make a lot of sense. What am I going to do about this knight? For example, so on queen d3, okay, this is interesting because now if queen d7, now I could go e6 and this can become dangerous. If pawn takes, I want to take on f5. This could be interesting. So, instead of queen d7, what could... What could black play? I wouldn't want to play knight e7. Queen c8 maybe. Just like this. So that e6 doesn't come with tempo. And now if e6, I can castle again. Ah, but queen f5, so it's different. Doesn't really change much in that case. So how is this? I don't know this line. I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay, Pumpkin the cat doesn't <laughs> hasn't seen this line either. Great, I haven't seen it either. <laughs> Who are the leaders? Uh, well, right now we have... Let me just open this. We have six players with five points. The first three boards, they all have... Uh, five points and we have Malcevskaya facing Mama Zara who who's had a very good tournament Arabidze against Daniel Yan and Kyolbasa versus Osmak they are the six player with five points and then we have six other players with four and a half from board four to six who do I think uh, will be the champion from what I've seen so far I liked very much Elina's games, Elina Danielians. I think she had some very good games. She seems to be in in good shape for this tournament. But also Gunai uh, has had some good games. So maybe one of them. It's hard to tell. Well, Arabidze also won a very nice game in round six. But I like uh, I like how Danielian played. I feel like her play has been very constant, very solid, very nicely played. Osmak might be a good pick. Maybe, yeah, she also had... Uh, well, she, she had some crazy games, right? I don't know, they, they could all be... <laughs> anything could happen, any of them could could emerge as a winner. Let me just... Yeah, this seems to be working, right? Yes, I just got disconnected a while ago, so I'm I'm checking my my connection here. So what is going on in in Yulia's game? That's very interesting to to see. Oh, I just lost my internet connection here. Why? Why has this happened? Give me one moment while I try to reconnect my other computer to the internet. Okay, now I think I'm back. Yes. Yes, now I'm back. So, let's go back to this game. Hard for, for you not to bet on Gunai. 
she's had some good games. She also had a good, uh, a good, a good tournament in uh, in the Grand Prix, right? I remember she did quite well in in Gibraltar. How can you train with me? Uh, you can find me as a coach on coaches.com and that's that's where you can reach out to me. So this this game we don't have any new moves and now Yulia is thinking so something was not part of the preparation here maybe rookie one this is where she started thinking and now bishop c5 looks normal but I'm pretty sure she's looking at this this move and queen d3 attacking f5 it's not clear how we defend that maybe we don't but maybe we just don't defend that and play for activity I'm not sure how how to do that though you could castle but on queen f5 I don't see anything uh, happening because I not sure about pushing d3 I give the square c3 for the knight I like that pawn on d4 so how do we how do I create anything if I have to play this e6 looks annoying and castle queen f5 maybe this is a better version because now the f file will get open and the queen is hanging on f5 so that pawn well sort of pinned can can always take on f7 though not not a real pin no so what do we do with black here maybe taking on d3 is the answer queen takes and now takes on c5 this could be the answer but then then knight d2 threatening knight b3 or knight e4 knight b3 doesn't win the pawn but so maybe knight e4 have to be careful with e5 so what if I castle here? Am I going to have problems with this pawn on d4? Something like b3, bishop b2, rook d1. And this knight, okay, not to e4, maybe to f1. And put pressure on d4. On the other hand, knight b4 is there for black. Knight b4 and maybe d3 at the right, right time. Knight d2, then knight b4. Yeah, knight b4, that's true. So knight d2 instead of castling, knight b4. I have to stay on the diagonal, so maybe something like queen e4. And what, here d3. Yeah, here d3 looks interesting. This could be very, very interesting and could, could get complicated. Now knight c2 is a threat. Yeah, knight c2 is coming, but so what, no, maybe, maybe rook d1, can this be an option here? And then play a3 and b4. For example, if something like castles here, I want to play a3. And if knight c2, this knight is not coming out. Maybe not so easy coming out. Probably something better here. There must be something better for black. But, but what? What is very interesting here? Queen b6, looking at f2 and defending b7 and then rook f1 has to be played this can be annoying yes rook f1 and here even castle but maybe now a3 anyway nice c2 rook b1 
And here I was counting on taking on d3 but rook d8. Mm -hmm. And b4. Okay, b4 is not threatening anything to start with. Yes, it is threatening. The rook is defended. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I have to go somewhere in here, maybe rook b3, take that pawn. Or rook d1 and take that pawn. And knight f1. I don't like this very much with black. It feels shaky. Feels like I'm going to lose d3 at any moment. So how how should this be played? Knight b4? Maybe just castle, no? The knight on c6 is fine. I would like to put pressure on e5 here with black. And on the other hand, the idea of getting a3 and b4 for white still seems tempting. But on a3, now a5. Taking on b7 in this line. Queen e4, d3. But take on, e on b7 right now. Aha, uh -huh, because I have queen c6 or how is this going to work? I saw that here, knight c2, but then you have queen c6. Okay, yes, I understand the point. The first side I saw this, but queen c6. Here and here, and that's a check. So if king f8, then takes here with check. And if queen d7, just takes here, no? So no knight c2. And I can actually take on b7 if there's no knight c2. Maybe castles and threatening knight c2. And play knight c2 here is the threat. But then rook d1. So we have the same position but without a pawn on b7. How is this? <laughs> it's a lot of fun for us here but I bet the player, the players are thinking hard about this. So what do we do now with black? Maybe rook b8, queen e4, and try something similar. Queen e4, and try something like queen b6 again. I don't see anything other than rook f1. Knight c2, rook b1. Has anything changed there? Not much, right? Not much has changed. If knight b2, rook b1. Now my pawn on d3 is hanging. And I have to play rook d8 and now maybe a3 again. A5. I don't know how this is. Extra pawn for white, but this bishop. This rook has to stay and, def and defend f2. It feels like a lot of compensation, unless I'm losing anything, but I don't think so. This feels like a lot of compensation for black. How does white get her pieces out? I'll probably play a4 if if white allows it. And what other other plans? Improve somehow my knight on g6. This is definitely an interesting line here. An interesting way of playing. Yeah, let's see what Yulia goes for. Will she take on d3? Will she take on c5? I think bishop d3 makes more sense from a practical point of view. Bishop takes d3 and don't allow this, this kind of ideas. That looks a little bit scary. But we'll see. No moves yet. What is happening in this game? So 
So we saw knight d7. Well, this will be a slow game, I think. Now on knight b5, the idea is that black gets to play knight c5, right? Oh, knight c5, there's b4. So, d5. On knight b5, there's d5. Anything hanging there doesn't feel like it. I think it's all well defended. Takes on d5, maybe rook c1. Rook c1 is also possible here. To which a6 should probably happen. Something like this, I expect to see b3 play like a hedgehog with a queen on c7, rook c8. What else do we have? Here, okay, Laura went for c4 with the bishop on b5. Because the bishop is in no danger for now. So it doesn't, a6 doesn't really hurt. And now I was thinking that black could try and play with e4. She could also take on d4, but first. Like c takes d4 and then e4. I think this will just kind of transpose. So here knight d2. What happens on knight d2? Can I get that pawn? So if castle, something like rook e1. Could this win the pawn on b6? On, on e4. This could win the pawn on e4 now. So. e4 here, knight d2. Anyway, because I'm trying to play knight c3 and I want to see how black defends the pawn. So if castles, oops, if castles knight c3, this would be kind of the same line as before and e4 is still hanging. Unless there are th tricks against this bishop, which feels a little bit out of play here. So something like a6, I will have bishop a4, bishop d7, and if, okay, this is a nice trick here, what if I go knight b6 and plan to go a6 next? The idea being that on knight e4, I want to take once and then play a6, and on bishop a4 I will take it, and at least white structure is a little bad. get compensation for that pawn. Um, yeah. And bishop e6 maybe I was thinking here. Attacking c4. So this could happen, but we can probably improve. Knight d2, castles, knight c3, takes, takes, knight b6. This is a little annoying. Maybe we could take on d7 first. No, I don't think there's time for taking on d7. Knight c3 feels natural. Takes, takes, and knight here. And now she wants a6. So this could be. The bishop on b5 can in the end be slightly misplaced. <laughs> Which is why I was trying to get it back on e2 before playing c4. So, how will we play here on e4? Does knight g5 change anything? I don't think so. But the question is on c takes d4. I looked at this before, takes here. 
anything better in this position. I looked at knight d2, knight g5 doesn't feel like much difference. Knight h4 maybe and knight f5. But still, if this knight is going to b6, knight f5 is not going to be a threat. No? Oh, black castled here. She doesn't... She doesn't do anything in the center. And we could get something like this, no? Takes here, black has to take with the knight to defend e5 and now takes here. We could get a position like this. And now pawn takes or knight takes, maybe maybe pawn takes. And knight c3. We have this square on d5 for the knight, this bishop on b2. Something like this would be nice to get. So castle, we take, take here, maybe knight takes. But here I was thinking that I don't have to take back on e5, something like knight c3. Create a blockade on d5. Oh, but here bishop g4. Is this annoying? This could be annoying. So what if I start with h3 then? Here play h3, it is too slow. I was thinking maybe b6. But on b6, knight c3, bishop b7, knight d5. I made it to d5 and I'm going to take with the queen, which is good news. This looks good. So bishop d7 here and taking on e5 looks like an option. Take on e5. What should black take with? I think knight takes to, to have the pieces a little more open. And now I was thinking about playing h3, no? Not allowing... Oh, but am I just losing the, the rook here? <laughs> I'm, I'm just losing the rook now on h3. So I don't have this. Bishop f6 wins the rook on a1. I'm not getting what I want. On bishop b2, maybe bishop b2, but still bishop g4. And this is what I wanted to prevent. I might have to take here then. Bishop b2, knight c3 and so on. Ah, this knight looks good on d5. Black has the bishop pair but the knight on d5 will be very strong. I think she could even play e4 here, if I'm not giving up d4 too soon. Maybe queen d4, bishop, yeah. Okay, so bishop b2 here then. And I want this pawn on e4. I was trying to get it all. Because if I get to play my, my pawn on e4, then knight c3, knight d5 looks good. But I don't want to do that without allowing a piece to get on d4. The thing is, if I do this here, I don't like. I didn't like queen d4 very much. So, probably like this. But then black can play e4, which is. Okay. which is taking up some space. But then none of this will happen because white went knight c3. Bishop takes d7 and knight c3. So now she does want to take on e5 and she's 
simply avoiding all the other ideas of bishop f6. So now she will take here, right? And on knight e5, she can play the h3 idea, for example. And there's no losing the rook on a1. What else do we have? Do we have any progress in Yulia's game? This was a very interesting game. Bishop takes c5 played. And here, what if I take here and play queen d3? That was the question. Just give up the pawn on f5. I... I suppose, with castles. But that's an extra pawn if, if black cannot create enough counterplay. So let's see something like this. Takes on f4, f5. And now? And now what? F2 looks a little bit weak. So maybe the idea of queen b6 that we were trying before with the idea of maybe playing d3. But now I was thinking that if I get my knight on e4, so something like knight d2 on d3, I want a knight e4. And here white is fine. So, the knight b4 idea, how is the knight b4 idea? Maybe even here, no, knight b4, but then knight c5 and bishop e3. I don't... I don't trust in knight b4 here. Okay, so knight b4, a3 will happen. I have to go back. So how do I play for counterplay here? What are we going to do here? Bishop takes c5, bishop takes f5 and queen d3. I'm, I'm pretty sure that white will play this. I think she will go for this idea with of queen d3. I'm curious to see how Yulia will handle this. How is Neymante doing here? Okay, so here on this position that we were looking at. No, here it was. White took on b4, queen b4, keeping an eye on b2. She plays b3 and now h5. Very good move, going for h4. And the Mante seems to be still in in book. h4, knight g4. Now she gets this square. And knight c3. And I think one of, of Black's ideas could be to get a knight on e5 and try to use the light squares. It may be bishop g4. Maybe bishop a6 and get somehow on d3. Also like this, no? Uh, something on d3 here. I guess this is the point. What else did we have? 
we have Irina here playing with black against Narvama. Irina had lost her last two games, but now she had a rest day to recover. This was, looks like a Sicilian, looks like a Kalashnikov variation of the Sicilian. And e5, yes. Knight c3. And knight a3. And this knight gets to d5, bishop g5, played by Irina. And king h8. Okay, knight c2 makes, makes sense here. But usually when this knight goes to e3, black can take it if if she needs to. Queen e2 played. Also natural to have this bishop protected when you play knight c2. And now what will Irina play? Will she go for f5 immediately? Which is what she was preparing with king h8, I guess. Or... Yeah, I think a 5 immediately has to be her idea. Can she play this? The bishop is unprotected on e6, but I don't think white can use that yet. No, it doesn't feel like there are any tactics. We'll probably see a 5 here <laughs> from Irina. What other games do we have? How was Ellen doing here? She played a4 and her opponent is thinking a lot. She's on 36 minutes on move 7. Can this be right? Because this is still kind of known. No? So here maybe castle. Could she be considering something like keeping the pawn on c4? She's spending on a lot of time on these first moves. And now Ellen has an extra hour almost. Extra 50 minutes right now. And let me check some other games. Let's see Anamaya here. How is she doing today? She plays Monika Sochko, a very strong Polish player. And this was... <laughs> 1b3. I don't know much about, about this. <laughs> but I've seen a lot of theory developing lately. Okay, but she transposes to this system that she has played before. And she has actually played... This position starting with c4 or knight f3 on move 1. I don't remember how exactly she started, but she played knight f3 and e3 and then b3, bishop b2. So it's the same system that she's going for, just in a different move order. She's probably avoiding or trying to trick her opponent. I don't know what uh, Monica plays normally and what she was trying to to avoid. But this now looks like a normal normal position. C takes d4, pawn takes, and knight c6. Bishop e2, and e5. Yeah, the thing is that white is a little behind in development, so black gets to immediately strike in the center. So now the thing is that here, for example, if you castle, you can lose quickly after pawn takes d4. Okay, maybe here, here you still can try knight b5. But if knight takes d4, then here... This is a nice trick for black. So we cannot castle, unfortunately, with white. But we can take on e5. However, in this case, these pawns have been separated, which is what black is counting on. Here she could take bishop takes and maybe castles no? she could take on d8 but the end game should be better for for black she took on e5 she 
I think she had to take on e5. I don't think there was... There's also d5, but then Black's idea is to go knight a5, block your pawns, probably b6 next, maybe bishop a6, rook c8. And this is not exactly how you want your pawns either, no? Pawn takes e5, and here knight takes, played, and let's see now if, if she takes once again or if she castles here. My guess is that she will castle. But, wait, if I castle, am I not losing a pawn? No, I'm not. Okay, so if I castle, I'm not losing a pawn. I was looking at this idea here with queen c7. Hitting on h2 and hitting on c4, but this pawn on c4 can't be taken. So, for example, if I go h3, black doesn't have this because the bishop on d6 is hanging. Which means that I'm not losing the pawn on h2. Maybe black can try queen c7 immediately. Threatening to take on f3 next. Now if I do take the knight, bishop takes, I'm probably going to lose the c4 pawn. I have to defend h2 and then bishop e6. That looks like my pawn on c4 will suffer. The knight is pinned as well, so I don't have any good jumps. Oh, I have a good jump on b5, in fact. So if I play h3, bishop e6, here knight b5 is going to solve my problems. And takes on e5. Okay. So, bottom line is that we can castle here with white. And if here, probably queen c7, but not the h3 here. And now something like rook d8 developing the pieces. Rook d8, I'm threatening bishop h2 once again. Queen b3 makes sense here. And now knight b5 might come again. Bishop e6. Now on knight b5 I'm losing c4, so knight d5 maybe. Something like this is what white can try to get. Yeah, have a strong knight on d5 before black gets to put enough pressure on this pawn on c4. And she has castled. And we might see this line with queen c7 and knight takes f3. Selina so played bishop e6. Okay. I thought that she might be trying to keep that pawn with bishop e6. But usually here knight g5 is the move. Whenever black goes bishop e6, white goes knight g5. And then she... She can play e4 or she can go for knight a3 and get the pawn. So on bishop d5 we have e4. This bishop usually goes away on d7. And here I think knight a3. Attacking the pawn. And here she can try like this, no? Bishop e6 once again. And then knight e5. And she gets that pawn back. So I'm not sure. It's a lot of... It's a lot of wasted time here for black. Thirty-three minutes left. I expect knight g5 from Ellen. And let's see where the bishop goes. Maybe she's planning to block, go bishop d5, but e4. Maybe like this, h6. I think white should be happy with this. Take on c6 and then take on g5. Ah, knight takes bishop g5. And b7 is hanging in the end. 
I think White will be very happy to get this. Interesting. We'll be back to see Ellen's game. In the meantime, what is happening on the first boards? We have a little progress here, not too much. Queen d2, knight d7 played. And here white is thinking, probably thinking uh, what, what line to go for. If g4 immediately, if long castles. And here, and yeah, we have a6 on the board, this position that I was expecting to see, queen c7. Yeah, now let's see what what plan white goes for. It's not so easy, you want to put pressure on d6, but it's not so easy to get that. You want to play bishop f4, but whenever you do that, now e5 is happening. So here, sometimes you play queen d2, with the idea of playing bishop f4. Later, no, something like this, rook d1. On bishop f4, the knight moves away and the pawn is defended. So this is going to be a long fight here. Black also sometimes wants to play for the square e4, so something like knight c5 and knight e4 can be an idea in these positions. And what about here? a3 played. So she's not going for bishop takes f5. A3 played and she wants b4. But what if here a5? Does she want to go bishop f5 now? Maybe she was trying to avoid knight b4. In the lines that we were seeing. But on a3, black would transpose to this line, right? And a5. I thought this looked good for black. Okay, maybe it's not not so much. Knight d2, castles. And now is knight e4 an option? There I might be. Knight e4. Because I have queen g3, so if knight e5, I want to take, take and I have now queen g3. Both pieces are hanging. And I have ideas with bishop h6 as well. So if bishop d6, here I think I can take and take on e5. So here I'm winning a piece as well. So this doesn't seem to work. Knight e4 then could be a move here. But what if I move my bishop away? I have to go to e7, right? Because if bishop a7, I want the square d6 for the knight. So bishop e7. And now e5 is really hanging. Knight e5 is probably... No, not this knight. This knight. So I don't give up d4. It's equal, actually. I couldn't have taken d4. And we have bishop d3, queen d3, and a5 played. This is the current position, and let's see how white handles this. Honestly, I don't find this position very comfortable for white. Knight d2 is a, a normal move here, castles. Knight d4 is another normal move, and here bishop e7. And what do you do now? You have to move the knight again. If knight g3... This knight on g3 is not doing anything, is out of play. And I think black has many ideas here. One will be to play 4, queen b6, 
rook d8 if needed, but this knight will go to b3. And she will have a very comfortable position. Maybe knight c5 will be later if she needs to push d3 and kick the queen out. I like black right now, but let's see if uh, maybe white has something else prepared here. Maybe she could insert bishop g5, knight d2, but it shouldn't be much different. We have we have another move played. Yes, no, this was it. What do you do when your opponent spends so much time on her moves over the board? It depends, because if it's in a middle game, you will just try to figure out options for your opponent, try to figure out the lines and see how you want to play this. But I'm not sure <laughs> when it's just, when it's so early in the game, I think uh, Ellen knows her lines here, I think. She played queen c2 here. And uh, I don't know, you could g just go over your lines in your head. <laughs> you could do that. You could also take a walk. <laughs> and disconnect from the game if you know everything very well. Can we go to board 36? Who is playing on board 36? Anne-Marie. And we have another interesting position here. What is this? What is this opening? Knight c3. Okay. Something I know nothing about. So here let's see just what happened. No? Knight d2, e5, d3 and now c5. Okay, knight c6 looks normal. Knight f3 and bishop d6 f5 and she wants to go g4 g5 and an attack on the king's side when black castles yep this makes sense here h3 with the idea of going g4 of course h5 Bishop g5 here. And bishop e7. Did we have to go bishop e bishop e7 here? What about developing? Aha. Uh -huh. So what she's probably worried about is g4 at some point. Maybe after rook g1. g4. She doesn't want to have the knight pinned. Knight g3 here. And now queen b6. Yeah, I think black can just develop and she doesn't have to castle short. She's going to castle long. I'm not sure what exactly what's happening here. But I feel like black's position is comfortable. Knight d2. Okay, now she wants knight c4. h4 is coming and that pawn on b2 is hanging. So we're going to have another wild game here. What is the idea? Rook b1. Is this queen getting trapped on b2? So we have knight c4. We have rook b1 here. I don't think we have knight b3 because this queen will come out. How is knight c4? first of all. So now the queen can go to b5 or to b4. If the queen goes to b5, I don't know, can she take on g6 but on f6 but then g takes when she takes on f6. So 
She can also give this check, which is probably more logical. And I was thinking this move, just trying to trap the queen. Queen a4. Very curious to see if this queen can be trapped. And rook b1, and maybe the queen just remains slightly out of play. But I think knight b4 could be an idea. Not right now, but it might happen. The thing is, where is the bishop from f1 going anyway? So here, if, if black plays something like b6, let's just play normal moves here. How is white going to make up for the pawn? This queen is coming back via a6. I'm not sure if if I can do anything. So maybe not knight c4. Let's see something else. Instead of knight c4, how is rook b1? Okay, I can take on a2, but now I was hoping that you know when I get my knight to c4, then I can play rook a1, rook b1. The night before. Night before and I simply lost another pawn. If I play rook b2, queen a4 and the queen comes back. Okay, I can take e5. Do I want to take e5? <laughs> Looks a little bit scary because this diagonal... My king in the center looks a little bit weak. And it's still a, a pawn down. Bishop d6. Just knight f3. Knight e4, is that an option here? Knight e4 and then on bishop e7, what do I play? Knight c3. Ah, I have knight c3. Takes, takes. I'm attacking the rook. Can I do this? So if here, do I have knight c3? Does this work? Knight takes, pawn takes. But then... I was wondering if if anything happens on this e file. I'm not sure if rook moves away, king e7 and maybe queen e2. Yeah, maybe this can be played. Here and my, now my king in the center doesn't look good. No, but I don't have to take on e5. I mean on e4 in this position. I can try to get my queen back, maybe something like queen a5, queen c7, then bishop d6, and the idea of bishop g3 at some point. So if bishop d2 here, queen c7, knight f3, and bishop d6, can I go bishop d6 now? I'm losing... The pawn on d4 if I go bishop d6. Now if here I thought that white can take here. And this knight on b4 is hanging. Oh, there's bishop g3. Takes, takes. This is getting very complicated now. <laughs> so rook b1 seems like the move. But okay, queen a2... Uh, was not a move that I wanted. I, if I were to play this game, I would go to a3. 
and now knight c4, queen a4, and try something like before with b6. I wouldn't take the pawn on a2 and complicate my life. Knight c4 played. Okay, we're going to see this line because they transpose. No? Queen d4, bishop d2, queen a4. They were similar. Okay, there are still many moves to be played from black and maybe now the idea is that you you can't castle on the queen side so easily but then castling short is an idea here as well so i'm not sure we'll have to see what happens queen before i guess bishop d2 doesn't look like there's much option here bishop d2 and queen a4 this is forced now we have to see what what white will play. Very complicated game again. She had another complicated game in the sixth round. With many ups and downs, anything could have happened. We'll be, I'll be back to see what happens in this game. I'm curious to see what what I've missed here. Bishop d2, queen a4. And let's see if the queen can come out. How is Andrea doing? She has an endgame with an extra pawn. Which I think she will win. Which I think she will win easily. How did this happen? We have a queen's gambit, Tarash, and bishop f4. Maybe five. Mm -hmm. Not the most common move here, right? Queen a5 here and king d8. Knight e4 check. What is happening here? King e1 and bishop d6. Isn't black? What happens if g5 here? Was she worried about knight e6? But she can just take e6. So, what happens on g5? If she takes on. Okay, she can try to take this one. She can try to take on c6, and if here, play this. Bishop takes and bishop b8. But, but I'm wondering what if I take here. Okay, so then bishop takes d5, attacks the knight, and then here I have knight f6. The knight's hanging and the bishop on d5 will be hanging. So, winning a piece then. Okay, maybe bishop f7 to take some more pawns. How many pawns? Three, seven, three pawns for the piece. No, just two pawns. Black has five. So, so then what happens on g5? Mm, bishop g3, you just take it. On bishop e5, f6.
And maybe now try and do this. I still take here. C6 is hanging, so bishop takes here. And again, oh, okay, maybe like this. Because now knight f6, you can take here. And attack my knight on c6. Mm -hmm. So wait, here f6. No, but on... Mm -hmm. On g5, bishop e5, I can just take the bishop, right? I don't have to <laughs> play f6. Take here and take on c7. This is much easier. Okay, so knight e5. No. So what happened on g5? What happens on g5 is that white loses a piece. Is this it? Is this just so simple? Here and now knight d5 and that's how she won a pawn. <laughs> from, from almost losing a piece, now she's winning a pawn and here she has rook d1. So she's not losing that pawn on d4. Still needs to be careful here. Rook e5 and now takes on d4. Defending b5 and this comes with check, so now she can move the bishop. Okay, this end game will be easy for her to win, I think. Rook c1. Yeah. Bishop e6, but now she will be back to attack the pawn. Yeah, knight c5. Yeah, okay. So here Andrea will most likely win. There's another result here. Wow. Black won. With uh, a huge attack. How did this happen? Bishop d3 here. Here. Takes on d4 and b4. Okay, what happened here? That the knight on a4 is... Is in danger. The knight on a4 is in danger. So that's why she plays b4. And bishop takes b4. So if she takes on d4... The thing is that b5 is there. So when I take... Take... B5 now. That loses the knight. And she goes here and now it all goes crazy. No bishop d2 because of knight takes d3. And knight takes d3. b6 here. Yeah, but this is too dangerous to play g4 with the king on f3. No wonder, yeah, bishop b7 and bishop f3. Okay, let's go back to which board? After g5, yeah, in our, in Andrea's game. No, not this Andrea. The other Andrea. Where is she? What board was she on? She was white and now it, uh, there she is. So on g5 here. Here, g5. Yes, 96 is possible. But here I thought that we can take. No, I want to take with the bishop. And then you get two pieces for the rook. Bishop b8, knight b8. That's why I was trying to get rid of the, of the knight on c6 first. To actually get the rook. To be undefended. I was trying to get this, something like this, and be able to play knight e6 and take on b8 for free. But if, if knight e6 immediately just takes, and now if this, you take here, and if this, this. 
and still here black is much better. Yeah, total suicide in the other game. Okay, what other game should we check? Let's see if we have any moves in this game. We do have bishop d2, queen a4, and knight b2. I hadn't looked at this move. Queen a6, and now a4, she's trying to get that queen locked in. She wants to play a5. So what if we go queen b6 with white, with black? Knight c4, queen c7. But there must be something else. a5, I will take on b2 for sure. Not losing my queen. Don't think I am. No, knight c4 I think has to be played. Or rook b1 and queen c7. Okay. And Mihaela, how is she doing here? She has the black pieces. And how is this position? 5-5. Five, five. Equal material. But that pawn on d4, the one on d6 and the one on b7, they are a little bit weak. And it's white to play here. And a move like queen b4 looks tempting to attack d6. I don't think she has any tricks like d3 and bishop d4 because this king will just hide on h1. So there are no more threats. Maybe she wants to play h5, h4. Here, so on queen b3, could she do that? h5, queen d6, h4. No, because queen takes g6. So this is not in time. h4, she takes here. And g3 is defended. No, not like this. It's too wild. So queen b4. I don't think she wants to go back with the queen. With queen e6 or queen d7. So, what then? What other move could she try here? Looks like she has to go back to e6 or d7. And if she has to do that, queen b6 played, which has a similar idea to attack d6. She's also attacking d4. So maybe this is an improvement of her queen b4. She also keeps an eye on that diagonal. And on h5, queen d6, nothing seems to change. I like white's position here. If nothing, if nothing happens, I like white's position. On board 25, we haven't seen this game, no. Wow. What happened here? Looks like white has a strong attack. G5 coming, no? What was this? This was an Italian, yes, with a queen on a7. It looked like that. Where she played queen b8. Yes. This queen b8 move is strong, as far as I know. And queen a7, I guess. Yeah. This is the point of queen b8. Bishop b3. And now she plays bishop b6. Which I think, I think this is not 
how this goes. I think here you have to take on e3. But she probably didn't want to bring this knight. But I think you have to do this. Take on e3 and maybe then bring the knight to g6, f4, knight e7, knight g6. But how did this happen? Now knight g3, knight e7, so she does go for knight g6. But the, the thing is that d4. Bishop comes back. Knight g6. You don't make it to f4. d4 is defended. It feels like white got everything she wanted here. She gets d4 and she gets the attack. Queen here. Knight f5 wasn't possible. What happens if knight f5? Because I think here there are ideas with bishop h6. The knight on f6 is hanging. The queen is away. So I'm, I'm talking about something like this. And if this knight goes away. Okay, maybe let's go to f8. But even here I could try to take this pawn here. Takes, takes. Uh-huh, and maybe defend like this. Knight h7. Knight g5. I want to take here and play f6. This looks dangerous. So this is something that I want. I think this works for white. And if not bishop takes f5, then I'm still thinking about taking on h6 at some point. But she went queen c1, gets out of the d file. King h7, knight f5. King h7, she defends against bishop h6 ideas. And now knight g8. She probably has to do this. Because otherwise knight h6. No, not knight h6. Bishop h6, sorry. Pawn takes and now queen takes is a check and queen g7 would be made. But this is very passive as well, no? And now h4. And g4. It looks like black doesn't have any ruptures here. She has no way of creating counterplay. At this point, rook f8 played, and what if g5? Okay, I think if g5 she wants to try and close the king side with h5. So, how do I try to make this work anyway? I think white might have ideas even with d5 at some point to open this pawn bishop on d3. It's there. Maybe not right now, but it's there. If the queen moves away, d5 is for sure one idea. But I don't want to do that just yet because I need this bishop. She plays rook h3. Okay, just improving the pieces. So what is the idea? I think the idea is that white has a lot of time and black cannot create much. So maybe she's preparing. What is she preparing? Queen h1? Queen h1 and then what? Maybe she's preparing knight g5. Check. Is she preparing knight g5? Check. I don't think so, no. Who knows? But rook h3 I feels a little bit slow. 
Isn't there anything better here? I don't think it is. So on g5, the thing is that she will just play h5, I was thinking, and allow taking on f6. But then they spawn on h5. How do I defend it if just if white tries to attack it? So what was the point? What if g5? I'm missing something here. So if I take on f5... Ah, maybe she's waiting for something like this. Bishop d5. Now e4 is a threat. Okay, so it, it's, it looks dangerous for white as well then. It's not so easy to to open the king side then. If g5 right away doesn't work. Now black gets another move on rook h3. Can she try to take on f5? I don't really see the idea of rook h3 right now. There is no immediate threat, so maybe we can try to do something. So if knight f5, e takes, bishop d5 is still there. And if black gets to do that, I think she gets some pressure. But, and maybe this is the, rook, uh, the idea of rook h3. Maybe she's just preparing for knight f5. And when takes, then she has the rook ready to go to the g file. This might be it. No? If I take, pawn takes, bishop f7. And now she might want to play rook g3. Yeah, this is probably it. But is it so easy to to open this position for white? For example, d5 is there from blacks. Right now or not right now? Right now e5 is hanging if I go d5. But I could prepare it with rook e8, maybe. Can I do this? Could also go bishop h5, no? Put pressure here. on d4. I want to take on f3 and take on d4. Okay, so that means that knight f5 is a good move here. We can take and play bishop f7 and bishop h5. At first sight it feels like black doesn't have much space, but then trying to find ideas for white <laughs> it's not so easy okay does knight g5 work that's a question that we have to answer but I don't think so because now I can okay first of all I don't have to take but what if I take what if I take if I take I'm gonna get mated yes <laughs> takes on h6 bishop takes and the queen gets in This is so easy though. Takes on d4, takes on h6. I think if takes on d4, you take on h6, right? Or I play g6. Oh, I can just play g6 here. Okay. So I 
I shouldn't take them. Just play king h8. Mm. And now takes here. Rook takes. Which rook takes? I like this rook here. Let's take with this rook. And now d4 is hanging. So... Bishop c4 maybe. There are ways to create things here. No bishop c4 but d5. Think on bishop c4 d5. What do I play here? I take here and now. I was considering bringing my bishop to h5, but. I don't see it. Bishop c4 seems critical. And d5. Yeah, I can take and bishop b5. But I don't feel like white can have anything, you know? Just rook e8, d8. And now white can defend the pawn, but. But there's no attack here. So it's not so easy for white. Queen b8, queen a7 move Kasparov style. No, it's actually quite <laughs> quite a common plan here. This this idea of queen b8 has been seen before, has been played. Queen b8 and queen a7. And I think nowadays it's... I think it's quite modern, actually. I think I've seen David Anton playing this. Hope I'm not mixing things up. But let's go back here. On rook h3. So, what else can... Queen d2. Wait, but rook h3 was played. Rook h3 and now I was looking at knight f5. So how do we get queen d2 and rook h1? Not knight f5 then. She played queen d2, so I'm not... Uh, I don't really have uh, the live game here. Is this delay? With a delay? I have this position right now. But I'm going to double check. Rook h3 on the board. I don't have nothing more here. So let's see. Knight f5 looks good. What other games did we have? This game. How is this game going? Uh, knight c4. Ah, she played b6 here, when, when I wanted to play queen b6, and she brings the king back via b7. g4 now, takes, takes, queen c7, black still looks fine to me. How 
how about here? Queen b6, queen d7, and queen b4. Complicated game as well. And how about how about this game? Which was very interesting. I'm curious to see what's what's going on in this one. Yeah, that was the analysis. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take a short coffee break and Renier will be back here with with me when I'm back. So I will see you guys in about 10 minutes. I'll be right back and we'll see more about these games.
back from the coffee break with the one and only <laughs> Renier Castellanos. <laughs> hey, hello. Hi, everybody. Let's see what's, uh, what's happening today's so round. Maybe you can give us more information about this game because I know that you know these lines. <laughs> okay, let's, maybe uh, you can let's see what's happening. What, what is this, uh, this game? It was an Italian. Okay. It was very interesting at some point. Okay, so this is more or less a uh, common theory here. This new system with A5, mm -hmm. um, which basically keeps the bishop on. Yeah, this is all, all more or less theory. Um, this queen b8, and now knight f1. And here, queen a7, bishop b3, bishop b6. Okay, this, this already looks a little bit weird for black, like... For example, um, I wasn't sure, but is a four an, four, an idea? I, I, I believe so. Uh, I but be here or when was it? No, I believe a four right uh, away. Right away uh, was a was a chance. Um, I I believe I believe this this could have been played, uh, but also after queen a seven. Um, Bishop e3. Think also here a4. Well, you have to be careful because because d4, no. Uh. So d4, d5 is there. Uh -huh. Something is is a little strange in this game. I'm thinking that knight f1. Uh, I believe a4 has to be it. Otherwise, uh, why do we play it this way? Um. So queen a7 was played, bishop b3, bishop b6. So it seems like you know you, you all you go through all this trouble with black, and in order not to move this bishop back to b6 and and so on and not even to a7. So that's the whole point of playing a5. So in the end, if you do the same thing, for white hasn't changed much. So I, I think uh, out of the opening, white is. Uh, is doing quite well. So this is exactly how things should go for white. Yeah, probably this queen d2 idea, no? It's queen, c, queen d2, queen c1 feels, uh, feels a little off. Here I looked at knight f5 and uh, because bishop h6 ideas are there. The question is why not bishop h6 immediately? Uh, was it I was didn't it, look at that, yeah. Was it refuted in any way? So if we take and we take everything... Ah, and <laughs> you play knight f5 next, so it's more... It's more forcing this way. I'm just wondering what what uh, what is there, and why am I not sacrificing immediately? <laughs> because if you think about it, no, you, your next move is going to be knight f5. Yeah. And and then you're gonna take, and, yeah, and yeah, this yeah. knight is hanging. Um, if this knight moves, then you're gonna have knight h5, which is equally strong. If there was any any time to sacrifice, most have been here. I don't know what the com what the computer says or anything, but to me it looks uh, very dangerous. Worst case scenario, uh, there may be, you know, loss of chances for perpetual. And another idea is that you can go both knights to g5 and h5. Mm. And and you have the rook ready. I, I, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure what, how I did not sacrifice on bishop h6. Was she probably thinking that black could take on d4, and and take on d4 mm. twice? Uh, I don't believe. I don't believe in this. Um, but could this I go bishop g7 and queen g5? Worst case scenario, why not bishop g5 immediately? Yeah. Yeah. With very annoying pin. I'm taking on f6, followed by knight h5. I think black. Okay, you take on c3, I will take with the pawn. Mm. Also, knight f5 was there instead of bishop g5. Um, I realize that now. On e takes d4, knight mm, f5. Knight f5. Could we try that? Yeah, it's a, it's a possibility. Absolutely. Okay, you have so to So you have to take this, yeah. this. And takes on h6 maybe, and or takes on c3. Okay. 
But we take here, no? That nothing, yeah. nothing here is happening. This looks very scary because if you th when you think about it, Black is playing without the queen on a seven on, yeah. on the game. Yes, it's very far from uh, from the game. So, uh, not sure why she didn't take on a six. Looked like a great chance. Now King H seven. Yeah, she defends. But Knight F five. Knight G eight. This is just great defense for Black. Typical defense in these positions. See what you're supposed to do. H4. Okay. F6. G4. She goes all in. 97. King G2. Rook E7. There is a lot of preparation in, in, in the attack. Uh, I wonder why not uh, immediately go for g5 but i'm thinking that nothing is happening maybe black can just ignore it no uh, she can take on f5 and bishop d5 oh okay so that's the point yeah so this the the rook maneuver is, is with the idea of more protection for the king and now she needs the to bring this other rook mm -hmm. so black played d5 and and this is a striking as a Already very unclear position. I think black uh, may be fine. Uh, I think so now, yes. I think white... White was a slow on, on, on this attack. Uh, I don't see a way where, where the pieces are... Okay, so we got this G7, right? This is the, mm -hmm. only, the only thing. But if you look, this knight, very difficult to get in, in the position. And also this bishop with this pawn on f5. So, so C takes d5 here or C takes d5 um, definitely a move I'm guessing going to take on e5 but after pawn takes on e5 looks oh knight takes on e5 you could take on f3 in between but oh, okay okay let me let's let's just go slowly here what is the what is what is black's idea here so he takes d5 Well, hanging this pawn on e5 wasn't part of the plan, so so I'm thinking what can black play? Because this was definitely not part of of the idea. So this is an, a, a chance, no? We can take on d4. She could do this. Mm -hmm. Knight takes d4 and now take with the rook on d5. And knight, knight e6, does that work there? Thinking that king h2, oh, king h2, bishop c7 is there. So, knight e6 first. So, knight e6. If we take on e3. How about taking with the f, with the queen? With the f pawn? If I try to keep my queen to play king h2 and queen g2. Okay, and rook f7. And now king h... Have to be careful with knight f4. You have to be careful with knight f4, yes. Yeah, definitely this is, uh, this is a problem. So let's, let's see what's going on here. So bishop f3 was the other chance, but I don't like giving up this bishop. Could that be a possibility? I take on f3. Well, actually, definitely a possibility because if king takes f3, I can take here on d4. I think this is black black's idea. I have an idea. Does okay maybe? Does bishop h6 work? Doesn't. Knight takes rook g7. Rook g7, but you'll take with the pawn on h6, I think. So if bishop a6, if knight, knight takes, takes then I want we have rook, rook g7. Rook g7, and, and then rook g7, queen h6, and the rook on f8 is hanging. Can yes, and rook g7, queen h6, rook a7, and this is made. And that one's hanging. 
Okay, so this is interesting. Let's see. So bishop a6. If knight a6, we have rook g7. And if pawn takes on g6, why don't we have rook g8? Yeah, yeah, I was wondering, but rook takes g8. Queen a6. Rook h7. Queen h6. Queen f6. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So now rook g7. At the moment, this looks lost. I mean, rook g5 or rook g6? Ah, rook g5 is a very nice idea there, yes. Oh, yes, I because like Because the idea. queen is so far from the game that she just can't get in, can can come to help. But we have moves. C takes d5, bishop b5, and rook e7 play. So C takes d5. Um, the question was, why not this move? Mm-hmm. And I'm guessing bishop f3, bishop f3 yes. here, king f3, and probably all captures on e3 and then take on e5. Yeah. Yeah. Not not to allow any jokes. May yes. Maybe nothing works now, but mm -hmm. don't even have to allow. So rook e7. This looks fine. Yeah. And can we do bishop h6 here? With the king on g2. Oh yeah, the king is on g2, and uh, it won't work. Uh, it, won't it comes with check, it, yes. It, it won't work, eh? It won't work, no, no. No, 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 no. So what can be played in this position? I'm thinking that she has to spend a tempi with king h1. King h yes. Maybe king f1. Ah, king f1, maybe. Yeah, because king h2 I didn't like because of the bishop c7 ideas, and king h1 because you take with check always on f3. Maybe, maybe why has to play like this. Bishop a4 played. Uh huh. Strange, a strange move. Very strange move. What is the idea of bishop a4? Oh, simply bishop b3 and attack d4, d5. But it's. Uh, well, that's not. That's not uh, what black is worried about. And how is something like e4 and bishop f2? Probably I don't want to do that, no? I don't want to close. e4 and bishop f2? I don't know. And bishop c7, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably don't, don't close, no? Because probably don't close, because then I... Where, what do I do? The now? d5 pawn becomes weakness forever, yeah? Yeah. I'm thinking this is not so bad for white. This looks... Uh, black still has some problems to solve. Of course, there is always a question. If I take everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's say, take with the king. And get my rook on e4, no? Take yeah. on d4. Take on d4. If you take like this, well... Maybe you want to keep the bishop and have bishop h6 ideas. Yeah, but with the knight on g8, yeah? This is, a, this is what I was thinking, that if if white wants to go for an ending like this... Ah, to play against the knight. Rook e4, rook g4. Oh, you could also take on g7. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm taking on g7. Yeah, what am I saying? So... So here, yeah, because why why I still has some pressure on e7 on g7, and now the bishop can go and, and put more pressure here. So the knight is just so difficult to get out. Maybe like like this, with the idea of bringing the knight. But you know, even if white uh, you can always defend it like this, and bishop on c2, king on f4, f3. The knight is, is just difficult. Yes. Yeah. Knight is just difficult to, to get back into the game. Oh, okay, let's check some more games. Let's yeah, yeah, let's go bo to the board number, number yeah. one, what is happening? There wasn't much happening when I when I checked, so... Oh, well, but this is, this is very interesting. Yes. No, I think they only had played 10 moves when I last looked. Okay, so this is... So uh, what I was thinking. Very interesting. Now... I think um, g4, knight b6. So, 
Okay, so here uh, it is it is really really uh, a big question why did black not go for this? This and now this. I cannot uh, believe uh, she did not want this. I mean, <laughs> for me, this is already much better position for black. I cannot see like knight a4 coming mm -hmm. and it is also d5 and I can castle and bring the other rook. The attack is incredibly slow. Uh, it's, it's very surprising that white allowed this and even more surprising that black did not play it. But uh, yeah, it's, you know, bishop d3, rook takes c3. Even knight a4 immediately, yes? Rook mm -hmm. takes c3, b takes c3. I, I think queen c7 is the most accurate, but I would say that uh, every Russian schoolboy knows, <laughs> yeah? Rook takes c3, yeah. So castle, knight e2, knight c4. Uh, okay, and, and here black is, is totally fine. Uh, but again... There seems to be, yeah. Okay, so so now uh, this is a this is a little problem. When you take with the pawn on c4 in this type of positions, why well, can use this square and it's usually well uh, well placed a knight on or a bishop. Uh, in this case, why well, gets this with the temple? Um, even if 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 why had had played knight c3, it, it's not so clear um, how. Uh, White, uh, how black breaks through. Maybe there are ideas with d5 and bishop a3. The main point is that in a position where you know white can play like king on d2 and, oh, uh, okay. and and try to shut down everything, is possible. I just think I still think that bishop d2 makes makes more sense now. Mm -hmm. um, queen b6. I like this move. Queen e1. And queen a7, and here we are. Yes, I, I think white is, is fine. Um, so Somehow, uh, intuition is, says that white is fine, but uh, how to play is a different, it's a different thing. Uh, maybe h4 already. And if rook e8, I'm thinking that the queen would be long on this square. The idea of h4 is that on bishop f6 I can always play g5. Uh, it's not easy to get my queen out of this square. I may also go to e3 and, and then put something on c3. Mm -hmm. And d5 is there, but I'm not sure if um, if y must react immediately to d5. I, I mean, there are all, all sort of ideas like I can take, bishop takes, and then maybe put this knight on f4. And already they you know have some counterplay. Maybe rook goes to e1 or or g5. But you can see that you know we need a knight coming to d5 or somewhere to kick the queen out of there. Mm. The block on c3. So I think that uh, this is what was played. H4 was played. Not caring. Yeah, h4 was played, and and now if rook e8, then queen c3. White is also very low on time. I hadn't noticed that. Incredibly six. long time, but yeah, but really, um, I think if white wins, if black wins the game, everything will be fine. But if she loses the game, she will be regretting. Move fourteen. Uh, and rook takes it three. Yes, move fourteen. Rook takes it three. This was uh, second board was interesting. So we have any questions here? There was a question about the um, the Italian game without knight f f four for black. How useful is it to go queen b eight and queen a seven? We're going to return there in a moment. Let's see what happened here. Uh, knight a four she played. I thought she would go something like queen d two bishop f four. Normally that's that's the theory. This uh, this knight a four I I'm I'm not really. Uh, I don't I don't know what is 
what is it about but so now what what white is threatening is to take on f6 no take on f6 and then bishop takes queen d6 Knight exactly takes queen b6 exactly so so here white wants to take on b6 sorry for the wrong arrow so here and then there are some there is some pressure on these pawns no matter what you take with how should black react she played rook a b8 which is a move that the idea is that if I take now, I can take with the knight, and if I take on b6, then bishop f3, and you lose a piece. Same would happen if queen b6, then you take, take, and then you have this move. Mm -hmm. So that's why rook b8 is, is possible. Um, so b4, rook fd8. a3, bishop a8, queen b2, all these moves. Yeah, knight e4. Because needs to be careful with some idea like this, but I don't think so, because b takes on c5 and and nothing is really happening. Uh, rook, queen is on, on b2. Now she gets c5. So white is hoping for something like knight d4, trade the light square bishop, and, and put the knight land the knight on c6. c6 no? But this it seems um, it's not going to happen, I think. <laughs> so if I take on c5, my idea is she's taking with the b pawn, right? Uh huh. I'm sh I, I think so. Yeah, because so, yeah? if not, knight d5. <clears throat> and now we would we would have this interesting position where. Black would like to play d5 without losing c5. Like and for example, here. White would here. like to advance the pawns. A4, I think, I w again, I, I would say black is, is better, but how much, I don't know. Not even sure if black is better, but yeah, I think so. I, 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 if I had to say something. But whenever you play knight, you know, whenever you play d5, knight e5 is also going to be there, no? I think you know, the idea is trying to get c4 <laughs> played and somehow queen a5 later, uh, the bishop on a8 is defending c6. Yeah. So strange. Knight c5. I think white has to take on c5, and and I don't like this position. I think here white. Uh, not only uh, gets a4 uh, and a5 also and b4. Yeah, okay. also rook d1. There is a weakness here on b6 forever. So, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking that. Knight e5. Is there anything wrong with knight e5? You can also go to c4. No. Just saving it, you know, for when the time is right. Yeah. Yeah. Can always play knight e5, but maybe here yeah, you rook d1. Rook so d1. you yeah, avoid queen d5. But it's also bishop f4 here, improving the bishop a little bit. Why not? Because uh, not afraid of bishop f3, yeah? No, no. I don't think so, no. Knight e5. So the only thing I was thinking is here and here. Okay, and, and now maybe rook no. a8. I cannot stop knight c6, so. Queen d Couldn't I go queen d5? I want to play knight d5. If I play queen d5, you take? And I take with the knight. Okay, so yeah. a3, a3 is hanging, that's it? Yeah. So knight c6, queen d5, take, and take. And if I play bishop d2, then you can play something like bishop f8. Something like bishop f8, or uh, I was thinking, ah, uh, bishop f6, you will just kick me out with e4, e5. I think there is no rush for white to to going any of this. Mm -hmm. um, it's better just to improve the pieces first. Uh, probably bishop f4 or something like that. Okay, uh, this was a very interesting. Maybe you know three. more about this because I I don't know much about this line. Okay, of, so this. Of the 
Yeah, this is um, a big main line in, in the in the Karokan advance, uh, but I cannot say I know all the details here. Here I thought that black was doing well. There was a point where white could have taken on a five earlier, and maybe try to play for e six. Feels like white is the is is doing quite well here. Now yeah, <laughs> but earlier I thought. Uh, okay, I'm not counting on this. How did I? Yeah, now um, I think Rook black. H5 and queen black H1? is black is just. At some but point around here, it felt like white, uh, black has some problems. Um, around here. She played knight e5, which I don't think is, is great. Um, because I'm thinking that what I want in the position is to bring this knight on, on e4, not not the other knight on, on e5. I'm thinking this. Um, but also black has some threats, like rook f4 or even queen f4 sometimes. I'm thinking that I would just block a like this. And two ideas, either I, I double rooks on the e-file uh, using these squares or else I play knight e4. Uh, but I think that around here black feels very dangerous, rook h5 coming. But there's knight g3, and, right? Uh, but there is also this pawn, like, you know, it's oh, g3 play. Very pass, a very strong pass pawn here. It's and now I'm queen h3? Yeah, we will see because very they likely. Have long time also. I mean, white is long time lower. Very likely, this is the uh, the move. Queen h3. It's not even the only move. Queen g4 also looks very annoying. Suppose this move. What is the plan? So knight d2 and and have queen g2 back. And maybe knight c5. Knight c5, b takes c5, rook takes on e6. Yeah, I was looking at rook that. Rook h5. And I'm taking the rook on e6. But, but why am I not taking on e6? Because of queen d7 and. No, if I'm here, getting, okay. here. Here. And here, no? Yeah. But many things, also rook f2 is there. Ah. And then takes on e6. So rook f2, I think in this move. And if I take on e6 first and then rook h5? But this is not winning already? This is winning also, yeah. Okay. No matter what white plays here, knight takes on e6? No, yeah, okay. It's just not working, yeah? So queen yeah. h3 playing. Yeah, this this looks gone wrong, and and also just very long time. Um, typical position where it collapses. Easy. No? Yeah. There could easily be a, a miss somewhere. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Yeah. Maybe she want to go queen g two. In like the line that you after played. After c five. Yeah. And here. Ah, rook rook eighty one. Wow. That's not But there's no mate, I think that's what she's counting on. However, Rook H five. So Rook H five she could still take on C five. Rook h5, knight c5, bc5. Okay, listen. If I play here, rook h5, yeah. knight c5, okay, bc5, 
What's the defense now? I want queen h2 and rook f7. So yeah. something like queen this. H10. Something like this to gain to gain temp. Knight c5 played. Now I let's wait, hold on a second after knight c5 because there's a check on h2 that but the problem is you want to play bishop mm. b you want so you want to play like this here yeah but oh, check on h2 first i wanted but yeah I yeah understand but but, what you but mean. even knight d3 is there knight so d3. yeah i'm thinking that uh, b takes on c5 is going to happen and then queen g2 no We will see what's what's going on. Let's see other games. Let's see. Uh, How is it not doing? I think she was on board six. Can you briefly check that? I only no, not six. That was the Mante. Uh, a little she was eleven. That's where she is. She is black here. Okay. Sort of a uh, Kalashnikov, yeah. And yeah. oh, now Queen E2, she play. I think this is the last time I saw a nice E2, I thought would be. And yeah, I was wondering if she would go F5. She did. Mm -hmm. All in. Knight B8 and Knight D7, no, and Knight C5. Don't like this for black. It looks loose. It feels loose a little bit. Not sure, but I don't like it because knight is very much out of the game. Yeah. And she won't get to play knight d7 because d6 will be hanging. No, no, no. It's not happening. It's not happening. So here she probably has to take on c4. Knight takes. I was thinking why not queen, queen takes. takes and ninety six you want yes. Mm -hmm. Also interesting. Very important and to keep control of, of the of light square. Yeah. So you're asking me how do you defend basically? <laughs> I can only see rook f six, but it's not a move that. Yeah. I would like to play. Maybe you will I'll have to. For example, if rook f6 and, and white plays a move like queen e4, how is this? I'm, I'm yeah, just just to check. Thinking about the end game, but maybe now I could go my I could get my oh no, I cannot. You wanna so play I was here? hoping yeah, but then. But I think I can I can take on f5 first. Yes. And then I take on d7, and then I have 98. And then you have 98, yes. And something similar if I take on e4 first, uh, after queen e4. So knight c7, bishop c4, queen c4. Here, if and you if take I take on e4. first knight d7, you still have rook f6 on knight d7. Oh, you could take and. Uh, mm -hmm. can take. No, because you can. If you take, I will take no, with I, check on f1. I, I can take here. You take there, yes, yeah. exactly. And now you will take on d6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. And if knight takes, knight d6. So I cannot get that out. No, this doesn't look uh, very good for black. Um, but we'll see. It's uh, probably the kind of game black is uh, hoping for, trying to get some chance, something related with an attack on the king's side. Maybe she can get white to play h3 and, and try to use this diagonal. Hard to say, but uh, at this point, feels like uh, white is white is better. I was thinking now if um, there is something like bishop g8 or something like that. 
But if, you know, again, if, if I was... take and queen c4, no? Yeah. And even queen e4 immediately? Even queen e4 immediately, just... yeah. I was thinking the same. If I was playing this position with white, probably I would try something very solid. I would like to, to trade the queens and, and not to worry about any potential danger, but maybe it's not so much. I mean, there are options there. Okay, let's see another game. Let's see... Um, Ellen won more 23, she was there. Okay. Uh, her opponent had very little time. Oh, but this looks good for black, yeah? Oh, but how did she get here? No, maybe she had like maybe now rook b3. And can we take on b7? So it was like this, here. Oh, okay. Wait, here, if you take a look at the time, your, her opponent had like, she spent a lot of time on bishop e6. There was a moment I thought. Okay, so she was spending quite some time so far. And here, 30 minutes left. Isn't knight g5? I thought knight g5 is... The, the problem with knight g5 there. is that black will play here. And on e4, h6? Yes. But isn't this, I thought this is something that white likes. We take on d5? And take on c6 and take on g5? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is possible. Knight g5... Well... It's still, I mean, you, you can play here, no? You can move the bishop somewhere uh, on g4. That That is also possible. It's a different thing when when the pawn is uh, is under attack and but here is it's not clear because if I play h3 okay fine bishop c8 knight a3 and now a6 and I come back and knight e5 aha uh -huh. yeah knight e5 could could have been a, a move there. But she played queen c2, queen c2. Also makes and h6 knight was h. played, and then knight a3 mm. and knight a6, bishop d2, bishop d5, rook e1. Okay, I think I think uh, what's going on here is that white uh, should have uh, taken this this pawns faster. Sooner, yeah, huh? yeah. Um, I'm I'm thinking that this faster. Of course, I don't think uh, black is in any great danger, but, um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, rookie 1, 94, take. Yeah, this is uh, here. So this is one of the things that queen a5 is now a problem, and also knight b4, and, and, and it seems like white is, is doing quite well. Question is why not if we could play e4, bishop e6, bishop e6, and now knight c4 maybe to try to get it to e5. Was well, thinking that we should get it on c5. On c5. Something like this is possible maybe, but you know, still queen b6. I think black has a a good position. And on knight c5, you'll simply take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you mm, take it, on b2, is the position may, or not? Or the, not the, yeah. the problem with the position is if it becomes open, the two bishops uh, work very well for black. Mm. So um, something I, I believe something went wrong in in this uh, in this idea. Now, uh, yeah. So bishop a3 and then e4, but mm. this. She got this. Yeah, she, she got this, and this looks very good. This definitely looks very, very good. Now, I, I do have a, a, some doubts in this position. Um, about rookie 3? Yeah, about rookie 3. So, why did she play rookie 3? What's the point? Rook... In, actually, let, let's, let's stop right here, because White also had this other option that queen b3 could be played. 
was she trying to defend d4? So I guess that's the idea. So what if black takes on d4? If black takes d4, you can take on e6 and and nothing is, is really happening, yeah? No, yeah, not, nothing is happening, I guess. King h7, no? I play. And you're not going to take on d4. Yeah, I'm not going to take on d4. Maybe rook a d1 or... Or even king g2. Rook a d1 looks, looks normal. Mm -hmm. Trying to leave the knight somewhere. So we are looking at bishop d4 here, just to so everybody understands. We, we were wondering if here, here, king h7, but here you don't have to take on d4 because then queen takes and it's all hanging here. But rook d1, no? Mm -hmm. And this, and king g2, you want to defend this knight on f3 and be uh, able many to plans, move yes, d2. Many plans, yes, many plans. Maybe, the, yeah, king g2 and knight, c, and knight c4 is the idea, or knight b3. Mm -hmm. um, there may also be a moment where white can play h4 and h5. So there are a few yeah. things there. It feels like black lacks coordination there. And, and the idea with queen on b3 is that if queen goes to d6, now I have more options than, than with the queen on c4 because the knight is protected by the queen. So for example, uh, I could think about knight c4 nice in this point. position. Of course, there is always this annoying move. There is always this annoying move. Let's see how... Okay, she, she, she must have uh, seen better things than I did in this game. We were game. thinking e5 instead of queen c4 here. Or move 18 here. Yes. So, this is the move that pros and cons, because you shut down this bishop, you fix the weaknesses. On the other hand, the square d5. Um, which... Probably is going to be used immediately. You no, know? maybe. Um, I wonder if we can take on g6. Like for example, if queen d5, we should take this pawn. Maybe yeah. And, rook f3 and the rook on f6 7 is away. But here she has this move. But you got two pawns, yes. I do, but the position is sort of blockaded, and the knight is landing on d5, and I don't have this uh, this mobility, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you can imagine something like if I take, take... And knight b4 next. Yeah, knight yeah. b4 comes next, unless I prevent it with rook a4. But still, you can go via c7, so the rook moves and... But now I have this move, yeah? Ah, okay. <laughs> I go to c8 then. So, maybe you have to blockade first. Mm -hmm. And now I can hurry up. Rook d7, g4 But there is also already, yeah? there is also this idea. It's, it's very difficult. I, my feeling is that white is better, but it's not so clear because you are not promoting the pawns and, and the bishop is out of play, but it could get any time in the game. And uh, it feels like white is better, uh, but I'm not sure. Hard to be 100% sure. We want this, yes? Yep. And even then, it's unclear. Like if if you go like this, it's still unclear. Maybe I still have five here. I don't know. But you know, rook c8 and and knight c7 and then knight b5 and yeah. I, I, this is a very unclear position. Of course, there was an option. E5 is very. Uh, Double edge, yes, mm. yes. Now I'm thinking you have a full control. Maybe rook ad1 was the best best chance here. Bring the last piece into the game and, and wait for for black to move. What if rook d7? Then we can play like this. Oh, the knight is hanging always. Yeah. For, now, now I can, but now I can play queen c4, and you don't have queen d6. Oh. Yes, that's true. I have. Uh, I don't want ic seven. No? Yeah, because once you go on ic seven, you know I can play king g two, and then I'm going to play knight b three. 
Like yeah, no, but I don't like that night on C7 very much. No, on A6 if you cannot go anywhere, it's not a good idea. I no. think, yeah, Rook AD1 is a move that I like. Um, it's, a, it's a move that I, that, I, that I like very much. It puts the pressure on the D file, and if Rook D7, I, I like this idea where so it's C4. If I do on D4 here, what was your. Well, Bank first of C4? all, this move is, is interesting. Oh, okay, just keep the bishop there. And now if I take on g6, it's going to hurt. So you have to play something like maybe... King. King g7 or something like that. And now I wonder if you can play like rook e4 maybe. And rook g4. Could be an idea, yes. Also, also wait a minute. Uh, forget rook e4. I have a better plan. On king g7... Why can't play knight b3? Oh, and you have knight yeah, d6. Yeah, because if rook f3, then knight d4 attacks the rook and attacks e6. Well, fork. So in general, you, you don't really care about this pawn on d4. Welcome to take it and open up the lines for the rook. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I was just so curious if there was anything immediate. So yes, this this looks like a, like a good uh, idea for me. Not sure if it's the best move, but okay. So, so queen d6 was played. Then here, here. Yeah, it, it felt like things went in the wrong direction. When when you you had your opponent uh, double pawns, the bishop shut down, some potential attack going on, and you and have to take on the five, and suddenly, uh, yeah. Suddenly, oh, you have to, to trade the queens, and the the pawns are on double. The bishop can come into the game. The rook becomes act. You can tell that things went already; uh, they were not supposed to. Given that being said, I still wonder if she could have gone queen g4. King. H7, okay, so let's take this 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 piece. No, it's a free, okay. it's a free piece. And now f two is hanging. So check king h seven. And rook f four. But she has this move. She does. Yeah, not enough. So he takes d five. Okay, I mean this is a still. Very much uh, up for grabs here. Is anything can happen? Black is very active. I have to say. Black is very active. Probably rook c six or rook c five. Rook c six was played. Okay, rook c six. But on the other hand, white has a nice square for the knight on e four, and I'm, I believe she will use that. Knight e4 right here. I was thinking first take. take there. Knight takes. We have a problem with the knight with this song a5. Yeah. Maybe you could go to c4. Knight c4. And then try king g2 and knight f3 as soon as possible. But bishop d4 here is that. Let's go d3, yeah. Mm -hmm. But but this is, but this is not the the best for squares for the knights. Uh, they are not uh, steady enough. No. Like here, rook f3 starts rook already. Rook f3, yeah. Rook d1, I still have it. Rook f3, rook d1. And knight e4, she played. She played knight e4. Yeah. Tough game. On the other uh, bright side is that uh, for Ellen is that Black has a uh, little time. Twenty six seconds left. Where is Selena from? Italy. I I'm I'm not sure if I know her. I think you do. Yeah. Must have she, seen her sometime. Yes, yes. Yeah. She played in the Olympiad a few times. How's Luminisa doing against? Oh, uh, they made a draw here okay. very quickly. Let's, when let's I when I arrived here, then. that was already drawn. Let's see another game. Okay, board uh, board three. Oh, black one really fast after we finished. 
It looked winning, I mean... It did look winning, but how did she do it? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, we were here, and then knight takes e5. Oh, my God. Wow. Rook d5. <laughs> yes, very nice. Just rook d5, yes. Well Game played. Over. Yeah, rook d5. <laughs> Such a nice move. Super. Absolutely. So very nice. So Yulia is now the leader. First leader of uh, after this round. Nothing white can do, right? No, no. Not. <laughs> no, for sure. Let's see, first board, how things are developing here. Black oh, seems to be fine. Queen went back to e1. Wasn't this queen out at some, some point? Yeah. Or were we just analyzing? Queen was, on, on queen was on c3 at some point. I think that was our analysis because I see that the queen only went oh, queen, on b4, the queen. It was. So here we play knight h5 and is threatening. To take on g7, I suppose, no? <laughs> or she, knight f6. She wants to take on g7. Yeah, things could easily be bad here. Oh, they are both playing on, on the increment now. And very far from time control, so we'll very see <laughs> we'll see something uh, special in this game, I believe. So what's the best way now? What if you try knight a4? Okay, knight d7. King, no, king takes, no. Uh, knight c3, queen takes, and you just replace. So there are a lot of things happening there. Like, for example, if you play knight a4, knight g7, can black play this check on f4? Does it do anything? King b1. And now, let's say rook takes b2, bishop takes b2, and rook b8. And rook b8. <laughs> but bishop f8 plays, so we're not going to see any of this. Oh, this would have been really nice, no? <laughs> it would have been really nice if it works. But it looks working, yeah. So my suggestion was knight a4. Tempting the opponent to take on g7. This is a trap. Then we would give a check. So bishop d2 is not possible. Yeah. Because we would take on d4. Mm -hmm. And after king b1, we want to do this. And here white can I still play king a1, which I don't really care so much at the moment. But it's definitely a possibility. But apparently after king takes, we have this move rook b8. Not only we're threatening to take on, b8, on b2, but also c3 and all kind of uh, weird stuff. So let's say knight h5, we take here. Maybe you could improve with queen b7, so that's a mate when you take it. Instead of rook b8. I'm pretty sure that here we still have a lot of a mate. Okay. Dia <laughs> diabolic, diabolic moves, yes? Yeah. Or even c3 to play rook a2, and there's there got to be something, yeah? Anyway. Bishop f8 playing in the game. Rook g1, knight a4. Yeah, rook g1 I don't, I don't really like. I was thinking that... Uh, rook g1, knight a4, knight f6. But king is shade. Okay, I guess... You want to just take that rook? Yeah, I'm thinking that that's Your what... Your bishop's on f8 now. Your yeah. tricks don't work anymore. No, she's gonna take on e8. So what is the thing? If I take obviously on f6, what, uh, yeah, what's what's going on? Queen e3 because you cannot play, you cannot play this move because Black had this check on a6. Mm -hmm. So, queen e3, and now we will see because uh, could this be true? First of all, could I just go h6? Rook g7, no doubt. Rook g7, no doubt. No doubt. I think. Yeah, I think so. 
So there is an interesting idea. For example, if you play h6, rook g7, bishop, bishop takes, thing. pawn takes, you don't have to take this pawn. You could play here. But I think I can enjoy playing bishop d2 and now queen a6 <laughs> is unstoppable. And also another reason why you can never take on g7 is because I have a check on f5 and the queen is hanging on a7. So not, not only there, there could be some mate threat, but also uh, black and loose material. Okay, if I take on c3, you're just going to play queen g5. You're not going to take anything back, right? That's a question. I mean... Because I still have bishop... No, I don't have bishop a... I, no, I don't. If you play here... You'll just take it and that's hanging and g7 is hanging. And when you play rook g8, there is rook g7, right? Yep. Yes. I still cannot believe this, but apparently <laughs> apparently it's H6 working. H6 was played. So h6 is played. She must find rook g7 in this position. Just played on, on, yeah, <laughs> on yeah, the yeah. spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bishop takes, pawn takes. No, no, this is not played yet, but rook g7 was played and we see the fireworks happening oh uh, she will take on g7 because i don't see any other move now so she must take on g7 right yes then pawn takes g7 and if king takes rook g1 and queen h6 looks at least this check on f5 ah, so right. there is that never check on f5 also. there is never Forget a chance and this is the only queen possibility h6. or f6 but this looks i mean after rook g1 here Things it's about to rain, no check and and g8. I also have this. Could I have gone queen g8 immediately? Queen h8. Queen h8, uh, in that line. Okay, we're looking. So and here? queen h7. Uh, you just play queen rook g8. Rook g8, yes. And I have uh, yeah. Rook g8. And on g8 you take and queen h7, rook g7. And there are some discoveries, but not enough. Bishop yeah, d2 rook plays. G1. Yeah. So F takes is King A seven Bishop D two. This is what as we predicted, yes? Yes. And is it now game over? I believe so. I really believe uh the game is over unless I'm missing uh magic magic defense. So Black will be really upset about not taking on C three now. I think so because uh after Rook C three I think you win um uh, nine out of ten games with absolutely so the only thing she could try is again f5 maybe takes king g8 but rook g1 rook g1 again yes yeah there we see it okay so queen h6 king g8 and here we go you know, this is also like, if I take here, uh, and king g8, I don't see a defense. And after rook g1, what, what is your threat? Queen h8, king g8, f7, and g8 queen g8, and queen h7. Yes. So she's going to take here on d4. Yeah. White is going to play here. And then I have g8, and then I defend my, my Then g8, my rook. rook takes g8, and here queen takes d4. Defending uh, g1. And this is what we're going to see. You think? I believe so. We should be lost for black. And if I put my queen someplace else so that you don't win it. Queen h6, king g8, rook g1, so someplace else queen c5 maybe i don't know maybe we are we are blind and, and, and we're missing something here like king f7 but i don't believe it i mean at first sight i don't believe this no king f7 g8 no rook takes queen, queen h7. h7 the same trick and on queen b6 I'm okay but that's that's different because uh, uh -huh. i don't see the mate is there a mate so king f7 oh you're saying that you take the rook yeah so king f7 Ah, I guess this is, this, is, this, is, this is this is made, yeah? You could if, have gone back to g8. If not made, it's very close. You could have gone back to g8. Um, okay, so she played g8. Oh, oh is it, this is... Okay, so king g8 is force. Rook g1, yes. 
she had it all under control and now king f7 pretty sure this is a less accurate move order and, and i don't really believe she's trying to do what i think she's trying that is on king f7 play rook g7 but there are so many interesting moves here what if queen h6 ah you just take on d4 on queen h6 So are you saying that here queen g7 can be a move? No. Just I'm thinking that H6. she might be thinking about playing this. So what if I ah, and take... But isn't that so many pieces for them? It queen? is, it is. This, this would not win. Uh, this would not win, at least not in a, man, a straightforward way. And if queen h6? What if I take this on d4? You take on d4, yeah. So check. King uh, f6. Only move. There's a check and a mate. <laughs> so it's winning, no? So queen h6 played. Wow, she played this really fast. So it's She it's... had it all calculated. And now maybe I have another move. King e7, rook g7. No. Rook g8, queen h7. Well, but that kind of... Doesn't that... Uh, no, I think it's over. King f6, bishop g5 in between, yes? Yeah. Yeah, can you show that? So queen h7, king f6, hoping that you take and rook g1, but I think bishop g5 should yeah. do the trick. And now you take on a7. Very nice game then, <laughs> if this is all true. So queen h6, what else is there? You want queen g7 mate? Yeah, 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 yeah. Many ways. I, I think it's, I think it's a matter of resigning at the moment. Um, I think Black did not expect this to to Rook. escalate so quickly. No. And and that and and truly, I I don't know after knight f6 check why uh she didn't play just king h8 and you know 98 rook e8 and just keep on playing this position of course far from from ideal but also i don't think it's immediately lost uh on h5 we can go back to g8 and and you know the game will go on but also i think there is a i would say that knight a4 immediately was was a big uh a big chance. Big opportunity. Yeah? Uh, wondering. It's over, yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah resign. Resign after queen h6. Queen, queen h6. Resign. So we already have two players on six, right? Yes. And it's all about board two. Arabiza Danielian. Who, oh, they already made the draw, so yes. they are the only players with six points, and they will 100% play each other tomorrow. If they haven't already, but I don't think they have. No, they haven't. So tomorrow we have, we will have Osmak Malcevskaya. So I'm just checking my, my line here with Knight A4, and absolutely working. Working, yes. Yeah. Bishop f4, king b1, rook takes b2, bishop takes b2, and here rook b8. Oh, and queen b6 is not working because of knight b3. B yeah. Because there is a queen b4 also, There is yeah? a queen b4, yeah. So rook b8, yeah. The heavy pieces cannot be challenged. This would have won very nicely after knight h5, rook takes b2, and queen c5, exactly. Would have won. And uh, how about your rook takes c3 in the very beginning? Um, let's let's check it out. But I, I, there I have no no doubts. Um, so knight b3, bishop d3. Yeah, rook takes c3. Yeah, rook takes c3 already. Bah. Would have been game over right here. Uh, really, really a, a big miss for black uh, not to take on c3 on move 14. But these things happen. You know, yeah, it, yeah, it happened to. Um, obsession against Kasparov. Uh, he played a position like this, and Kasparov immediately played rook takes c3 and, and yeah, won yeah. a very nice <laughs> game. 
in in 2000. Uh, yeah. So what else do we have? We have board five still playing. I haven't checked that one. Maybe you can see. Oh, things have <laughs> many things have happened here as well. So aggressive nowadays, everybody, you know? Yes. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting pawn sacrifice, I'm guessing. I have no real idea what is going on, but... White goes for... The attack. All in she goes. Se seems like, seems like a, a... Yeah, okay, so g5. Because you can never do that the other advance, no? After this, this center becomes too too strong so g5 f5 but also here it looks like black center is is super solid but white is playing for dark squares maybe maybe mm -hmm. the rook can rook go h3 and bishop d4 no okay so finally this this f5 is now hanging and, rook and h3. now it looks great for white yeah yeah it does And suddenly not so much. <laughs> Something there with Queen H4 maybe, no? Yeah. Wow, very wild game. Hard to follow because so many things happen. And, and now uh, can I take F7 or am I losing simply with Queen D3? Yeah, this is this looks great for black now. It's the attack is on yeah, but c7 is made if you, you know. So you're, you're saying let's take this pawn. Yes. So after check. Yeah, but go you give me a check on c4 first. Very good. I give a check on c4. <laughs> if can I treat them bishop queen c5. Queen b3 is made. Ah, okay, you want to give that one. Okay, queen b3 also. Yeah, yeah we have uh, various ways of checkmating here. What are people saying in the chat? A uh, nice win by Osmak. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Nice win also by uh, Malcevskaya, I think, on the first board. Like a yeah, fantastic game, yeah. She she found this. Rook d5 was very beautiful. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm first first board this counterplay with knight f6 and rook g7. How calculated everything! Fantastic. Yeah, she had it all prepared. She was just playing really fast. How is uh, yeah this queen b3 and now white is thinking? So they might have made the draw. That looked drawish. And Irina on board, I don't remember. There she is. She lost. Tough second uh, part of the tournament for Irina then. She needs another rest day. h3 okay how is this pawn takes and now what's happening here i have no idea what is happening what oh that knight g4 is nice why f takes Bishop f4 anyway, and the rook on d1 is hanging. I think that's the, the point. Oh, so here, knight g4. And if white takes, then black plays bishop f4. And the rook on d1 hangs. As well as the pawn on h2. So this would mean that maybe black wins immediately or something. Yeah. I don't have to take on g4, no? Well, you have m more material, so... It's yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, I can play queen g3, probably. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So nothing really happened in this game for black. Nothing really happened. The problem with this with these openings, that you try to play uh, some risky openings, to say something like this, trying to get a game and, and you get a, a bad position and, and then uh, it's, it's already even 
more difficult to more make difficult it work. To, to make it to make it work mm. more difficult than it already is there was okay board 36 black won that that was a crazy game also 36 uh, weird opening I thought okay I was looking at this game so here here Yeah, looks like a funny way of playing, no? <laughs> <laughs> you not... put it very <laughs> frankly there. Okay. Well, look at this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I was, I s was seeing up till until here, but I didn't. I think black got everything. There's nothing. Do well, you know, there are some wine? some squares, but how much is... And then another pawn for more squares, but no, this this doesn't look right. I think... Uh, no, this looks... looks. I, 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 no, I, black was just... I yeah. think black lost the, the path very quickly in this game. White. Uh, I mean, white, yeah. Yeah. And Mihaela on board 35, she's there. Oh, she, she her position looks fine now. I thought at some point. Okay. So looks like. Yeah, here I thought that white was fine. Yeah, white looks fine here. But then. Uh, even here, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I saw queen b6 here, queen back, and queen b4 wasn't. Not much happening. It's, it would be hard for. Yeah, this is something that, you know, in this type of position, you, you always need to watch out. Like, nothing is really happening, but. Yeah, yeah, but, bi but bishop d4. Really, this bishop can can get into the game and mm. uh, cause some trouble. Suddenly, your king is very open, the back rank, and so on. And queen a2, yeah. And the pawn now is still alive. And very dangerous. Yeah, she just goes all the way, right? Yeah, Mihaela is not afraid. No, um, now she's just a piece of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, she will win. She different. won this already, yeah. yeah. What other games do we have? We are, we are here. Let's see this Let's see this game. Let's see what's happening. Is this here. still going on? Yes. White is thinking. Okay, because they just move... They just reached move 40. And now there is... Uh, there is some time, and how about Nino? How is she doing here on board seven? I haven't checked this one either. A five is hanging, yes. Yes. And B two is also hanging. So, so if I take A five, take B two. I think takes on a5, takes on b2 will happen, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe something like knight f5 is also there. Like, right now knight f5 is a nice way of... Is it a nice way of losing? No, why? Well, I was looking at rook takes f2, but you have no, knight e7. You also have check on a8. And you also have a check on a8. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think um, it's some clear position. I think I would say black is a little better, but why should you use some initiative? Maybe <laughs> someone let a bird in the building. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're laughing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why we were laughing, indeed. It's actually ours, but. <laughs> 
seems to be very talkative at this this time of day. He suddenly thinking, woke up. Thinking nine at five. Nine five, yes. <laughs> so. Um, and now on rook rook b two. You take oh, on g seven and I yeah rook b two is take and take on d seven. No, no, yeah, yeah. This is not. Knight uh, f5. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not in the video, but <laughs> maybe we can ask him to make a surprise appearance. <laughs> He's just outside being noisy. Knight d7. Okay, we are here, no? Yeah, but yeah. you see in this move, knight f5. How should black react? It's not so simple for black. Oh well, we have a game here. have to show the bird now before the tournament is over <laughs> well that's uh, that's your job now uh, <laughs> my job now no um so here okay i don't want to play g6 maybe just bishop f8 maybe okay so she took on b2 and, and, and forget about that black took on b2 Two on a five and then black to combi two. That's that's the game. So I'm thinking that this is going closer to a draw very soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just by the in by the intention of the player, because if you want to complicate things, probably you find something sharper here. Because if you take here, I wanted to take e seven. Yeah. Yeah, I can play king d eight. It's probably but, the only move. But then 96, 96 and here and um, it's already lost. Yes, that's already lost. <laughs> so this would be... So what what happens on knight f5 in the end? It's probably something easier that's... Not sure. I mean, I think that the game just just continues. Um, it's an interesting possibility. Bishop f6 or what? The problem with bishop f6... Uh, I thought bishop f6. Um... And I wonder if uh, this would be now a better Where's moment it? to take on a5. Not only that, but there is also the ideas like this mm -hmm. and here, yeah? Oh. But, you know, something always can go like this. Check on c5. Oh, missed that. Winning, yeah? Yeah. So I'm thinking that the knight f5 could have been uh, an interesting choice. Nothing, just g6. Yeah, but <laughs> you know, g6, you take only 7 and, and you play descending. Sorry. Um, so rook a5, I was thinking. And rook b2 and... It's an it's a, it's a, it's it's outsider, yeah? With, yeah, the, with yeah. the bishop... And Bishop against knight. It could it could be more. In the the game is it's nothing. It's it's more of the, the same. The game is more of the same. More or less the same. And board eight. Yeah, let's check the first boards. We haven't looked at this ones either. Looks wow, this looks good for black. Yeah. Seems like white is dominated. I think black played quite well here. Too many things happening um, that I'm not going to understand now. <laughs> but I think that, that black is 
doing very well if not winning immediately. Yeah. Must be winning. Looks very good for black. Yes. I think Wise only so. Wise only hope will be that at some point, uh, Bishop f5. Mm -hmm. For example, Rook f2 now maybe. But still, I don't see it happening. I see a good way. Hoping for Rook takes b3. But Bishop for example, if if Black plays King is f7 now. Mm -hmm. If you don't take on f5, you're never gonna take on f5 because after king e6, king e5, black will just win. Yeah. So this has to be played, and here and rook, rook f6. Six, yeah. yeah. So maybe, Take yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's risky. So on rook f5. King g6, you take, and then you take, and then probably can play even e3 with the idea of rook d2. Not sure if I, if I have time. Yeah, I think I have, I have time. time now. Yeah, king f4. This is badly analyzed, but just an example <laughs> of how things can go. Um, king h2 was just played. Yeah, I think king f7 is going to be played. And white has to sacrifice, I think. No question about that. The last few moves on board 14 look suspect. Do we know if that game is still ongoing? We can check move for uh, board 14, who was there. So the why well, yeah if this happened okay so there might be something wrong because black's time yeah black has no time yeah black has no time so there's probably something wrong and here it looks like black is just winning yeah. No doubt. So we probably won the game. And here what happened? Yeah, it happened something similar. So but she gave up the rook. So we should be five. Queen B3, take, take check. And now white's turn to play. Queen F7 is always the question and the prob the, the answer is always probably mate happening, no? Like queen e2, queen d1, mm -hmm. and you're going to get mated somehow. Mm -hmm. So what if I go? Okay, but on queen h8, you're also going to yeah, you're getting mated. Force me to or trade queens and you win the end game. Mm -hmm. Because g5 hanging, yeah. G5 is hanging, yes. Yeah, this looks uh, this take. looks like white is in trouble. Big trouble for white here. Yeah, queen e2 is coming next. Mm -hmm. Bishop c5, yeah, yeah, that's one hanging. Well, it's all hanging. So maybe sh if I'm going to trade queens, maybe I should just try h4 here. And check. Then play queen b2, but I you think just go queen b2. Ah, you want to queen f2. Okay, so here is is interesting. So you ha queen f2 is actually nice, no? But you can go to d1. No, yeah? because you have bishop d4. Okay, so that's that that is the yeah, that is the move because now I have to go queen b2. Yeah, on that bishop, uh, d4. bishop d4. So queen f2, I have to go queen b2, and then you will take h4, right? Yeah. Okay, maybe yeah, b4. You just yeah, take queen everything. C4, yeah. Queen c4 also. So b4, I just play queen c4 and then I take on g5. Yeah, I have to play queen b3, I guess. Yeah, I, I also have queen b1, but no, that's. Uh, no, this is just all gone, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Take on g5. No, this is what I was trying to avoid, giving that pawn up. But I don't see how. 
G6 maybe. Ah, Queen G2 and you take it. Looks over. It does look over, yeah. Uh, I Let's think I'm going to take a break. Okay. I'll be I'll here checking the rest of the games. I'll see you later and tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> later. <laughs> later. I don't trust. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, Renier. Let me just fix this here. Bring it a little bit closer then. Take Rainier out of the picture. He's gonna take care of the poor little bird. <laughs> so now, here, Queen of One. Okay. We will see what happens here. What other games do we have? This one here, where Black goes through before. Knight of Five. So, Knight of Five played in the end. And now knight takes g7. So what if just g6, right? Is it the same? Could this work in the same way or am I losing something? Rook a8, king to, if I give a check, king f7. Maybe that pawn is running now, no? This is uh, very similar to to the other end game, but this pawn is running here. Oh, I have a check on h4 as well, does that help? No, I don't think that helps. a5 looks more like it. a5, a6, and who knows, no? This pawn can be dangerous. So what happens on knight f5 now? What does black play here? Knight takes c7 should always be the idea, right? Maybe move the bishop. Bishop f8 or bishop no, bishop f8 and bishop f8 played yes so here i was wondering about the check on a8 king f7 rook a7 something like that the thing is that on rook a8 you can also play rook b8 with black can also do this. Okay. We'll see what happens here. And here, knight takes b3 played, so here king h2 and knight b3. If bishop f5 here, I think, takes, takes, and something like knight d4, no? And I don't think that white is in time to create counterplay. Actually, there's rook d2 also, so takes, takes, and here just rook d2. If you trade one rook, I think here black is easily winning, no? Takes, takes, and e3. But I'm also thinking that knight d4 is a move and knight f3 oh and actually e3 because my idea was to play rook f2 and try to create something but here I don't see it happening yeah very good position for black here and this game I haven't checked this one okay another unbalanced position where black has an exchange up and white is taking on d6 c5 just played here so we had this position and c5 played
C5 played? Why C5 played? Why not rook f8 and rook f3? Because she loses c7 and rook f3 doesn't help, but if she takes on c7, rook c8. So what if something like this? Because on rook c7 I thought rook... Maybe rook, uh, rook c8, no? Hmm, rook c6. And this bishop goes to d5. And on rook f3 I thought that king d2. But okay, rook e3. Here, here. And rook e3. Or rook f8. Just like this. Still complicated, I guess. Okay, but on something like rook c6, now I give a check and king h3 you can get mated. King g1 and I think here something like rook b2 and here even if white takes on d6, king g5 and rook f2 next. But c5 played, so I'm, what happens now? Rook d6? Okay, she takes on c6. Why not taking on d6? Something must be happening here, which... Uh, king g5, I think. Okay, and now she will take here and get the rook in. And that's the thing. So if I take here, just takes on b4. Uh -huh, and uh, rook c1 or rook c3 is also there. Followed by rook c8. And w where is this bishop going now? Bishop a2. And then... Then rook... No, check on c1. Then check on c1 and you win the bishop. Yeah, that's pretty convincing. So here I don't have bishop d1 because of rook c1. Anyway... Okay, so this was the point, that I cannot take all the pawns because of taking on b4 and now c takes b4, loses the bishop after rook c3. So if she goes d takes c6, rook takes and now bishop e6. And if I take on c3... If I take on c3 now, is there any perpetual? Bishop f5, king g5, rook g7, king f6, rook g6. I will play king f7, yes? Let's see this. Here there's a check, there's another check, king f7. And no more checks. But there might be other checks, right? Something like rook d6. I think this is complicated, no? <laughs> What's the name of the bird? Is it f4? <laughs> We should have called him f4, yeah. <laughs> this position looks complicated now. Rook takes c3, bishop f5. I don't know if black can, can win this. She will definitely try to. So something like this, rook d6. And now I don't have rook c8. Which... Which I would have liked to play. But I might have rook h8. Now I could try here. I 
and on check I have to go to E8 here and now let's see I will try to get my rook in but rook a8 king e7 that's at least a perpetual yes like here no For example, something like rook h3. No, rook c1 is also there, but here, what I'm thinking is that how do I escape chess like this? No, but I won't be able to go to the c file because then rook c8. Okay, and if here rook a6, right? And then go back to a7. So not easy at all with this bishop on e6 now. I think we have another result on board 10 Mamadova 1 against Badelka we have this game being played still and white is trying to win this as well Queen E just played Queen H2 makes sense King G8 only move and now E6 Push the pawn, yeah, push the pawn, yes. I think so. Queen of faith, she can try. But queen of four. Yeah, this looks losing for black. There's also queen f4 here. Many ways to continue. We have this game here. How is Ellen doing, by the way? Let's see her game. So she has this end game where black can get a passed pawn because she's actually an, a pawn up. How did she lose that pawn? We saw that her position was difficult. How was it? Um, 94, we left it. No, we left it here, right? Rook b1. No, this one I saw. Here, 94, in this moment. Rook c8. She plays rook d1. Okay. Rook d2 to so unpin the knight. Come back, 94. Takes and bishop b4. This was all forced. There was nothing she could have done. Yes? Maybe just take here with the rook, but then rook c1. King f1, knight f3. So this doesn't work either. Here, king f1, knight f3. And I lose this knight. Not a good idea. Bishop f8, like we said, difficult position. Difficult position all the time takes here but okay knight d4 and knight here and now she cannot take this one because the knight is not coming out bad luck king d7 king c7 wins the knight this this looks bad no e5 and king e6 and a4 will happen at the right moment I think the engine suggested taking with the rook was a draw really? so let me try to find it then <laughs> where is the draw? rook takes d6, rook takes rook c1 So what do I do here? I have to play king f1. Knight f3. And is it here that I have checks? How 
How do I make a draw? Check on d8, king f7, or king h7. Ah, ah, there is an idea with knight g5. So probably something like this. I only see king h7, king e2, and this idea. Check king h6 and knight f7 with a perpetual, but I still have to find what happens on king f7. But I think that this should be the idea. Check king f7 though, no? Oh, and now I simply give another check. King of fate. And on check king e7. And if I try king e2 anyway, knight e1, the thing is that this knight... How is this knight coming out? No? Here, not here, not, not here. Only here on c2, maybe I can use that. On king d2 there's rook a1. And what if I try knight g5? Rook f7, no, I don't see it now. King f8, check, king e7, rook g8. But king f7. I'm not sure how I make the draw. Not sure how I can make the draw. Can Ellen play f3? When? f3 when? In this analysis or in the position that we have on the board? Here? Here she can probably play f3 but a4 takes and king c4. But here she's not losing any pawn, right? You can play f3, but I wonder if I can play a4 then. So if takes, takes. My idea is, I don't know, king c4, king c2, a3, king here, bishop b2. And you can, of course, come here and take my pawn, but my king will get in. So this is my hope, right? Maybe king f5 or king d5 makes more sense, actually, to get in here. And here, king d4 and king e 3 if you take the pawn. Yeah, now this looks this looks over for Ellen. I don't see a way to stop this idea. Put the pawn here, bishop on b2, and get the king in. For the draw of king f7, perhaps you can check with the rook. Yeah, yeah, I tried that, but... The king can go to e8, so here, in this position, rook d6, rook c1. So I was trying to find a draw here, rook d7, king f8, and then uh, I only have one check left, and then king e7. This is where I got stuck, because I don't know what the point is here. I don't have rook d7 anymore. I can play here, but then king f7.
I'm not sure. Rook b8, rook e1, and she takes on e4 as well. So how do I do this? If I had my rook on b7, oh, maybe I can try this. So maybe I can try this here and takes here when checks on b8 while the knight is struggling to come out. Maybe this is it. Unless the bishop can go somewhere like e5 <laughs> and then and then I'm lost because I don't have rook d8 but I can take here I don't know this looks very difficult to find anyway I haven't found it yet on king f7 looks unclear to me maybe the past pawns are worth a trap knight maybe this something like this right Rook a7 and then knight c2 and here let's see if the checks still work. Don't think so because the king will get closer. Check king e7. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Oh, you... Ah, so you cannot get out that way because I have king d2. Okay. This is a funny position. <laughs> Cannot get out there. This is already very interesting. So the knight is not really coming out. Knight is not really coming out. Because I have this king d2 idea. But you have to find something useful to do. Okay, let's go to the current position. Did she play anything? No, not yet. How did this game continue? We left it... No, we left it here. On bishop a4 we left it. And e4 happened. Knight e1. This. Bishop f4. Yeah, I thought that this might give white some chances, but maybe there isn't much left. Are there any sacrifices here? Not without the bishop, no. But could white have tried? Because on e4, why am I not going to h2 and to g4? The bishop will just take it. And then, and then that's it. takes now king f1 yes and the knight is going to f4 yeah that's a good idea like this without moving the bishop but yeah that's interesting but what if i do move the bishop maybe i'm not using maybe if i okay b5 here Bishop b3, a4. Mm -hmm. Bishop c2. Okay, let me see this. Knight h5. Rook d7. Defended. No. No tricks, no? No tricks. No takes on f6, no takes on g7. Maybe coming back, yes, knight f4. Find a better square for this knight. Oh, okay, but now b2 is hanging. So... What happens if I take b2? <laughs> Something on g7 for sure. Okay. 
No, not something on g7, something on g6 and f8. This is what happens. She gives a check, king h7, and she gives another check. And then this one's hanging, but wait, I don't have to take the knight, do I? King h8, yeah, I do. I was hoping to have rook b1, but no, I have to take here, I guess, and now takes. Okay, so here she plays rook f7 to get out of tricks, and this one is lost, and then so is b2. This seems to have changed for the good for black. Go after f5, okay. Go after h4. Get the queen out. Fine. Why are we not taking that one on h4? Because g7 might be hanging. No, I don't think. g7 might be hanging. Because c5 and d6. Okay. So if I take on h4, she will take on e5 and d6. So if I take here, she takes here, takes, and this pawn, like that. This is dangerous, definitely dangerous. So she plays here. She was threatening to take on d5, rook d1, okay. And now she's thinking, this is the current position. And now I think we can take on h4. How is that? Queen takes a4. This is still very complicated. She can take c4 as well. Can she take also c4? What if she takes here? Then queen b5. There's a check here on e8. And rook c8 I can play. And queen a8 is there. King h7, yes, something like that. Check and get my queen to e8. Oh, yes, yes, queen a8. This doesn't work because queen a8, king h7, and queen here. This one's hanging, and queen g6 is also a threat. So after queen a5, not taking on c4, but now maybe, yeah, taking on h4. Since that rook was such a problem. Takes on a4. I wonder if e3 works at some point to take on c4. Queen e8 is always there and I have to be careful with that. Yeah, still very complicated here. How much time do they have? About 10 minutes. Black still needs to be careful with all kinds of threats here. Um, what other games do we have? Any progress here? H3, King, E6. Um, yeah, no moves here. Maybe this was over already. Oh, I'm going to ask about this game. I haven't asked yet. This one. Yeah, now it shows black has won, no? which looks like a fair result. It looked like black was winning, but I'm just going to double check. This 
This is also on chess results, so I'm pretty sure that this was... Yeah, this was it. Oh, how did that pawn on e6 got lost? So, I left it here. King g8, and now queen d2. Giving up e5. Wait. Okay, I guess this is also easily winning. Yeah. Can my king just go after a4? And I sacrifice the rook on e4? I don't think it's so trivial though. Because you have to not lose g5 when you take a4. But here, why do I do that? Why not e6? What am I missing here on e6? I want to bring my queen and play e7. Okay, so here queen d2, queen e5, and she goes for this. Because rook d8, <coughs> just king h7. There's no other check. Now she defends here and king goes. Yeah, exactly, rook a6. So you have to keep the king cut. This bishop will wait here. And I wonder whether I should play g6. Okay, maybe I can play g6 and win that pawn on g7. So something like this, king e7 here. I want to play rook a7. And now if the bishop waits, I will give a check. And if king f8, this is the position that I want. A check here. If king g8, I want rook c7. Threatening c2 and threatening mate. Black loses. Has to give up the bishop. So here, here, king g5. I think this has to happen. No? How does black... Okay, she can keep the bishop there and so play maybe king f8 immediately. And then rook a7. And it's your turn to play. Okay. Then this is easily winning for white with g6 now. Let's fix that pawn on g7. And win it. Okay. What happens here? Okay, this pawn went very far, but it's not going any further, and it's in fact lost now. She cannot defend it. She has. Does she have any good discovered? checks. She has a check here, but king d6. Defending the knight. Most likely a draw also, yep. Still a draw. And how about this game? Yeah, black, list. black seems winning, winning now. Nothing, nothing left for white to hope. What about here? This game was very interesting. So how did this happen? Bishop f5, king g5. He she gave the check here. King f7. Aha, uh -huh, and she played g5. I was looking at taking on d6. But she goes g5. With the idea of taking on g6. Rook b7. 
rook c7. So that rook got here on the c file. And now, what if we take on d6? Still not easy at all, I think. Take on d6 and that pawn on the g file looks very dangerous. This king comes out here. So there are no mating ideas anymore. Very, very interesting how this game turned around. What happened here? Okay. In this position, f4 was played. And then a4 anyway. King e5. Knight e2. King d5. Because I don't have a3. Knight c4. Winning the pawn. So king d5. Knight c4. And now bishop c5. She will play a3 next. So how can Ellen try? Maybe put the knight on b3? Maybe like that. No, knight d2 and wait for this and put the knight here on b3. Well, what about bishop d6 for example and on g4 do I take or do I play h4 to bring my king in or do I play king e5 immediately king e5 king e3 On king e5, king e3, maybe now h4. To get my king in. On king f3 I want a2. And I want to get here. Oh, king e3. I guess I just wait another move. King f3. And king d5. On king f3, king d5. And king c4. Yeah. I think this is the best try, no? To put the knight on b3 and hope to trade some pawns here at some point with g4, but probably won't work. Sad that the bishop is the right color. All right, yes. The bishop is also the right color, but still. But yeah. So you, you don't have the idea of trading this pawn and then sacrificing the knight for the other one. What happened here? This queen made it to e6 and I think, how was this queen a5? f5 played. Okay. Defending the 6th rank, and now she takes on h4, and then this checking h7, and here queen e6. Okay, so now the point is that if I take on e6, pawn takes, and rook d7 is coming. Doesn't look good for black, does it? After queen e6, what do you play? d6 is also coming. <coughs> Maybe this is the best try, and now what do I do? f4, try to do something here. But does rook, rook d7 work? 
take on g3, take on c7. Because now if this rook moves away, I think I can start attacking the pawn. Rook e7, but rook d6. And maybe bring my other rook in. Uh, rook, B, rook e5. However, this is dangerous still. c5. White is very active anyway. I don't like this. It was complicated, so I, let's see what she what she plays. How is Andrea doing? She is white here. She has the bishop pair, but she also she's also down a pawn. Can she hold this? Because maybe the king can't get in? Maybe. For example, now I want to keep my bishop. Bishop d2. Because this bishop covers b4. So how will black get through? No, She would like to get through b4, but that's covered. She would like to go through here, but then the bishop, the light square bishop, does a great job. So I think this could be a draw. Bishop d2, hanging on to this fortress. And whenever the king gets to b5, you will just give a check and the king will have to move away. Anyway. Bishop f4 can be the only try. But I still don't have to take your bishop. I can go here. King e2 played. Okay, so she's saying, oh, okay, because the opposite card bishop, so this won't work either. You're not going to win this. That's true. King e2. King e2 is also fine. You don't want to give the knight up for that one to win this. So probably a draw in this game. Mihaela won this. Yeah, we were looking at this position which was very difficult for white. Things started to go wrong here. Yeah, this check and queen a2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I did see this. She just won the bishop on f3. Yeah, I remember. I had seen this. What other games do we have? We have a draw here on board 5. And how did this... Okay, she took here. And now queen e5. Okay, this move I hadn't considered. So what is the point? She gives a check, king a1. King b1, check king a2. And I don't have to trade queens. King a1. I can never take pawns because of this mate. Queen d1. And just king a2. And king b1. Okay. So never trading queens. I thought, uh, I actually thought that here black was winning the end game, but I obviously missed this queen e5. Now king a1. Very nice king a1, because if you go king b1, queen e4, right? And this end game is probably not an end game that you want to play with white. So king a1, give a check, now king a2, now you have to be careful not to go here because of bishop d4, but you go king b1. And there's no way you can force white to trade your queen. Now you go back here, and king a1. Nice. 
very strong queen e5. How is this game? So that pawn on a7 is still alive. Let me see what white played in that position. She played here. I had seen this move. Check here. Knight f7. 98. Yes, she took here. Oh, okay, that's how the pawn is still alive. Knight b5. Check. Because now she does want to take on a7. King e4. And you should be careful here with that active black king. It's probably still a draw, but... What if we take on h5? Knight d4, I'm thinking. And king f3, and I think it's white who needs to be careful now. Rook h5 played. Okay, and rook takes a7. And this, this can immediately be a draw. Knight c6. Or knight c6, she played in this position. She can still give a check. King somewhere. And now you have to just give another check, probably. Ah, king g3, so it's not a perpetual. King f4. King f4, and now I want to give a check on a2 and a check on a1. For example, here I wanted to give a check. King f1, and give another check. With a draw. Bore 19 should be a draw soon. Let's see bore 19. Haven't checked this one either. Another endgame with the bishop versus rook, this time with a, with a pawn as well. I think this is a draw. Right? I think that with the h pawn, it's it's a draw. Even sometimes, even if you lose the pawn on f2, but now, how do you make progress with black? This should be a draw, yes. Black doesn't have a way of getting in. Maybe h4 here, but then... For example, if you put this pawn here and you stay with the king on h3... How does black win this? She will try, that's for sure. But... Yes, this should also be a draw. What else do we have? We have this position where... What is going on here? Four pawns for a bishop. That's a lot of pawns. Okay, h3 is hanging now and queen b1, queen b2 is also a threat. She plays h4 and queen b1. King g2, queen b2... I win the bishop. Yeah, for example, here you cannot take this pawn because I have a check. King check, take the bishop and keep playing. So here Yeah, losing, yes, maybe. Maybe losing, maybe not. Oh wait, there's bishop g3 that I haven't looked at. Bishop g3 Bishop g3, queen c5. No, queen g6 played. No, queen b1, king g2, queen g6 played. King f3, queen f6. There's a perpetual here. Queen f6. Okay, yes, four pawns is a lot of pawns, but this king is open, so here black has a lot of pawns. King f3 played, queen f6. Uh, 
And there are many checks. King e2, queen e5. What else? This game. I haven't seen this game. I don't think I have. Two pawns up for black. But again, not an easy position. King before has just been played. And how do I make these pawns advance? If I play h3, I lose the pawn. Bishop g4. Maybe with the uh, with rook e7 and rook e4 I can try to advance my pawn like that. So here if white takes I was thinking that the rook and game is winning. So takes here and h3. No h3. Mm, yeah, h3. h3. Not sure though, here. h2, rook h3, rook e2. And they should be winning, yes? Here, king g4, here. Oh, it's winning like this. Yes, I have rook h5. Yes. But it's still very difficult to see with two minutes on the board. Rook b7, yeah, rook b7, I thought a4. Rook e7 takes rook b7, and on a4, what do I do now? You can take and king f4, and then h3, or just king f4 here. win a temple. We want to play h3. Rook e7 played. I don't think white will take on b5 though. Rook b7, a4 and here king f4, something like this. But I think this one was clear. Bishop b5 here and h3 just here no this was pretty clear i think so what else can she try on bishop g4 king f4 and on bishop d3 king f4 also Maybe bishop g rook h2 played. Yeah, that's another move she can try. And now... Rook e4 check, king a5. Yes, rook e4 played, king a... Oh, king a5, I have rook a4. And I can take that pawn on a3. And on king c5 then, probably still can go rook a4. King c5 played. Not allowing that rook a4 check, but rook a4.
Maybe then she can take on B5. I'm not sure this rook a4 can be tried. King g5 was another move that was possible just to see what white plays. Now you defend your pawn, but white will play this. Ah, and then you'll play here, and on rook g4 you'll play here. And your king is more active. Okay. And then you can try to get the, the pawn on a3 if you want, but you're not losing h4 anymore. What else is happening here? How is... How is that game... Rook g2 was played, I will probably see king f4, but I wanted to see this game. One that I was... Oh, here black looks winning. So what did she play on queen e6? She didn't take. She played queen f4. And then a check and d6. This looks dangerous. Can she create anything? Okay, she tried e3. But then just like that. Yeah, because if you... If you take on e3 here, for example, pawn takes, what is her idea? Queen e4, right? And rook h2, and she gets counterplay. Here black should be winning, right? Rook h2, king g2, and a, a rook g2, I mean, and there's another check here on c2. This is something that white shouldn't get in, for sure. And of course, if rook e3, there's this check here on h2 and queen f2 mate. There's also rook g4 check, but... Oh yeah, you just lose one rook. Rook g4 also work. I thought, I thought you lose both rooks, but you don't. Queen g4, rook g3, you have this check. So this also works, but the mate is, a f is more convincing. But queen e8, and now take the pawn. Yeah, trade queens and advance the pawns. So takes, okay, and she takes on d7, that's the point. Taking on d1 probably works as well, but here on rook d3, nice. Yeah, this was a tough game for black since the beginning, so... No wonder she eventually went wrong, it was difficult to defend. How about... This endgame still being played. Okay. How about here? Many checks given, and now no more checks. So, how is this? Oh, there, check, queen c2, and here. Go back, and now can we play c4 with white? Queen h1 is there, so on c4 there's queen h1 check, king e2, and maybe queen, maybe queen c1 back, right? Just keep these pawns from advancing, you're not allowing c5, you're not allowing b4. Looks like this should do the trick and b4 played. But here she should still be able to block it because on c4 this one 
will be hanging so I don't think white will get to play c4 and c5 which is what she wants to do queen e1 played what other games do we have this one okay I already checked this one here this one was interesting and the king made it all the way to g3 how check here and bishop f1 yeah king g3 she has another check but king f3 will be played and then the bishop will be gone looks bad for white looks very bad for white so here and i thought that the bishop is lost, but you still have this move. Rook f1 should be winning here. And h3. But she played rook f8. And how is h3 here? Check on g8, king h2. Or king h4. This h3 played. Rook g8. And now what? King h4, king h, king h4. And h2. How is this game? Oh, very interesting endgame here h4 king king h3 and here i think black wants to get her king all the way to e3 so taking on e4 and king f4 king f4 immediately is the other idea right because if i take here there's rook e5 check which I'd missed. But here, here, here. Not so sure. But I can do king h3. I can do king f4, which is which is actually what she played, but white played king g2. Okay, white king g2. Now the pawn on h4 is not attacked. King f4 is even better now. And king e3, take this pawn and promote the d-pawn. This should be over soon as well. Levi, hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah. This should be over soon. And how is this game going? Wow, things have changed here a lot. This doesn't look good for black, does it? But can do I have... How do I proceed here? Can I play bishop d5 and bishop b7 no because on bishop d5 rook a6 and i've lost my hopes king g5 played rook b2 now rook a6 Bishop f7. <laughs> okay. Probably a draw. But probably black will still have to defend this for a, for a long time.
How is this game? How did black get the knight? Yes. Knight e5 was played. I looked at rook e5, check here. Knight e1, check. What happened here? This is what happened. Yeah, this should also be a draw, but I didn't think that we have to lose the knight. Ninety-one. Did I have to play ninety-one here? What happens on knight e5, for example? Knight f3? I will take it. So here if I... Knight f3 is the, is the threat, no? She doesn't want to get mated on f2. But why not knight e5? Check here, king g2, knight e2 maybe? No, I don't think so. Knight g4 and this king has to get out of here. Knight e1 was a little weird, I think. Check here, king h1. And she goes here. And that rook would have been taken? This must be wrong, yes? I don't think this is the actual game. There must be there must have been a a mistake here. What if knight g3? There must have been a, a mistake in the broadcast. I don't think I don't think they actually had this position on the board. Okay, and now we'll see this endgame. Nice trick here. King g4 is a stalemate. We'll see this being played for a long for a long time, but I'm very curious about this position. If this really happened in the game. I'm going to ask for this game to be checked. So this was move around move 70. And we'll see if this was really if if this really happened. So the idea was okay. Knight g three here. Knight h five. Ah, oh, white repeating with knight g two. But it's not. It's not really repeating, right? King f three. There's another check here and I move to the other side. And if check here, I also go here. Knight f5, I will take it. They will check this game and we'll see if this is true. Might be a mistake in the broadcast. It has happened before. 
how does this game continue? And now, white is winning, yes? How? There, yes, I saw this. Bishop to the f7. And rook h2. So this was already very good for white. Rook h2, threatening rook h7. And then you have to trade one rook. And now, if I take here, she wants king g7. And she will start with king f5, something like rook c1. Start checking from behind. But bishop e6 played instead. Rook c7. And I still don't have king e5 because of king g7. So, bishop d5. Uh-huh. And I, I will wait on a7. Rook a7 played. Hmm, there's a nice... Maybe this is what she's calculating. She's trying to win some time. And maybe she's calculating g7 here. With the idea of bishop f7. Here and on rook takes, she has to take bishop f7. And on rook h7, g6. And now if the rook goes here, you just play g7. Now bishop f7 played and rook a6 check. And here, once again, she will have to play bishop e6. Rook h6. Rook h6 here. g6, rook h6. And... And when I take on e5, king g7 again. And if I play bishop e6, you want to take on g6? And if I play bishop e6, you will take on g6. Nice. So how do I lose a tempo here? Bishop e8, you will just go to... Bishop e8, that's how I play it. King g8. Just king g8 now. And bishop d7, king h8. No, but I will, I will play king f7 at some point, like here, yes? And get g7. Let me check this again. So bishop e8. I think king g8 has to be played. And here. And now I want bishop e6 if the rook moves away. And king f7. And if king f8, I wanted bishop e6 and now you don't have the rook g6 trick. Nice idea. Looks winning but it's not, not so, so obvious, no? How is the game now? The game got here. And now rook f1. King here and now here. And can I win this now? 
I might not be able to win this. It's probably a draw. Rook a6 next. Okay, she played king f8 in the game. Okay, on e6 she will start giving checks from behind. Rook f1. On king f6, rook f1. Not sure what else white can try. This might be a draw. Okay, bishop c4, not allowing rook f1. And she wants king f6 now. And this. So, how about we attack this bishop, rook c1? Rook c1 played. And she will keep attacking the bishop. No, bishop d3, rook d1. How is this game? Okay, still in progress. We had... Okay, this one. We had king f4. She took here. And rook a6. Take here. And now take the other one. Okay. This looks winning. Very much winning. Rook d5, b2. Here, here. Rook d3, rook g1. And game over. What else? Time to resign, maybe. I don't think there are any more tricks. How about here? This was interesting. The bishop's gone. The white bishop is gone, but is this now a draw? Mm -hmm. King b2, I lose this one. And if here, queen d1. And if here, queen a4 back. This is the position now. Queen a3 played. And here we will see queen c2. Because here, queen b3 was the idea. King a1, queen d1 played. King b2. And now, check on e2. And on king b3, queen c4. She's not going to take yet on b5. Yeah, this looks like a draw. And now here, oh, this endgame, which also looked drawish. How about this endgame? Still being played. Still being played. And it's black to play. Okay. This one looked drawish for a while, but we made so many moves here. Move 42. Almost time to claim a draw. 
by 50 moves. What other game is there? This one. Okay, and here black is winning. Just g3. If there are too many pawns. All of them passed pawns. And this was the most interesting game. <coughs> And probably rook f1, and on king e6, rook a1. Again, these checks. King e7 play though. Don't let that king in. And on g7, king f7, e6 played. And now g7 is a threat. So, what do I do here with black? I give a check, king d5 and rook g1. King e5 will be played, and now rook g1, right? To stop g7. No, king g4 was played. And is this the trick if king e6, bishop d5? Is this the trick? If b if king takes g7 and you don't catch this pawn? And if king moves here g7, this must be the trick. If king e6, bishop d5. <laughs> nice traps here. Rook g1 check. Played. Not falling for the trick. King f5 probably. Okay, you still can't take that. Bishop d5 is there, but where are you going to go? King h5. That's where you're going. And king h6. And no checks. Is this true though now? Here... Now if you give a check, I play king f5. Bishop e6? No, I will take it now. Bishop e6 takes g7, king f7. Doesn't seem to work anymore. King f5, rook f1 played again. Feels like there must be a win for white here somehow. <laughs> it's difficult to defend with black. But she seems to be fine. And now king e5. And now I want to go back to g1. To stop g7. King f4 played. And another check. King g4 or king e5. And we will probably see again rook g1. Let's see where she goes now. How are the rest of the games? This one's still being played here. Still looks like a draw. Where is 
is this one ended in a draw. Nino Batiashvili made a draw. The rook versus rook and knight. The rook versus knight. Rook and knight. And here, rook g1 again. And isn't this a repetition already? I think they can all already claim... Okay, king h5 played. So now, if I take on e6, king h6 probably. Yes, king h5, king e6, king h6. This, yes, does look winning. Yeah, I was just checking the moves. I don't think there was a repetition. So, what do I do on king h5? On rook e1, g7. How do I stop g7? This seems the only way. King h6. I don't see it. How do I stop this pawn now? I think I don't. I don't think I stopped the pawn now. So, so this is winning. Is this winning then? King takes e6, king h6. So it's winning, yes. No way I can stop king h6 and g7. So here, room g1, so this was winning all along then, room g1 was wrong, and king h5 could have happened. Nice. Rook d1, like here rook d1, king e6, king h6, rook d1, yes, but on rook d1, I will still go g7. Uh -huh, on g7 I can try king h king f7 here king f7 maybe and I have this check and that should be it I will promote this check next <coughs> this covers any any jokes on the H file? No, this this is over now. King 
d6, king h3, rook d1, g7, g7, king f7. Ah, yeah, there is bishop g6. This is the line. Bishop g6 check. Nice. Rook d1 played. And we will see g7. And on rook d8, bishop h7 will happen. Yeah, nice win for white. Very resourceful. This game. This game is still going on, but... Black is trying to win this. She's a pawn up, but I don't have to take on h5, no? I could also take on h5, king f3, king g4. But I don't have to take on, on h5. I can wait. Bishop d2. Rook d8, king, a king h7 played. This should also win, yeah? King h7 also wins. There's rook d7, but king h8. Okay. And this must mean that black resigned. This king e5. Yeah, very nice to find it all. This bishop d5 idea that she had, giving up the e6 pawn. Oh no, king e5 was actually played. I thought, <laughs> I thought they were setting up the kings. Okay, rook g8 and game over. How about this game? Just wait here, no? Bishop e4. See how black plans to get in. And do we have a result here? Not yet. No, but I think now we will go in, we are going to have a result. For sure we will have a result here. And the only games left are these two. Yeah, and Andrea played king f3. Just let's see what black can do. For sure she wants to play h4, I think, and try to, to do something against this pawn. Probably won't work. She can try to bring the knight to f4, but whenever you play knight f4, bishop takes f4. You'll just wait here, bishop c1, bishop d2. So, do we have a result? Yes, we do have a result. White won. And I think that with this, we can finish for today, because these games, I think this game will take a while but I don't really see how how black can try to get in how is she trying to get in here like if I wait no bishop d2 96 and if I wait like this mm, not like that no takes only 6 here Takes on e3, bishop d5. No, not like this. Okay, she played king e2. And on knight e6, king f3. Same position as before. Bishop 
bishop d4, bishop e6 as well. No, not knight e6 played. I expect to see king f3. How can you try here with black? The black king will land on d5. <laughs> king f3 played. Knight of eight. Yeah, I thought so. Knight d7 and knight b6. That's what she wants. But then bishop c6, right? So if I if I wait again, knight here, and if I wait again, knight b6, bishop bishop c6. Maybe now she can bring the knight in. Okay, she played knight g6. The king in, I mean. Okay, knight g6 and maybe bishop f4. So if I wait here, bishop f4. And knight e4. Knight e5, I mean. Bishop, bishop f2, knight e5, king e2. So what? She can try again to go here, but bishop e1. And I will wait. I can also give a check here. She plays bishop d2 now. No way to get in. Maybe the plan is, bi is bishop c1, then knight f4. Uh huh. So I have to play bishop c4 then. And stay here on h2. And now, bishop e3. And I have to play something like bishop e1. I wanted this. And now... And now I will have to wait with bishop f1 or bishop b5. I wait with the other bishop. Could black try maybe to play d5 at some point just to get the king in? And king d6? Could she be thinking about something like that? Don't know if it works. Just wondering here. E takes or bishop takes, and now I want king d6. Bishop c3, but I thought I have bishop d4. I don't know how this is. Maybe 
At least now the Black King can get in. 95. Oh, but you'll fly away. 95. Maybe this is the plan. She can try something like this. How is the game now, though? Because bishop f7, bishop b7 played. Oh, bishop b7 played. Knight f4, king h2. And now knight e2. What is going on now? That the king gets in. So this did not end in a draw. I spoke too soon. Bishop e1, king e6 is the plan, and king e5. And if bishop a1, then ah, then I trade your bishop. Bishop e5. Bishop a1 played, and now bishop f4 and bishop e5. Bishop f4 also played. Can black king aim for b4? For sure, now yes, the black king can, will get in. But earlier with the bishop on e1, she was covering that's that square so not so easy to defend then there were many many hidden ideas that i hadn't noticed she probably has to play king g2 and bishop e5 will happen and then and then that will be very hard to defend is the time correct it should be correct yes king g2 played and now we'll see bishop e5 Okay. Born 19 is still going on, but I'm going to stay with this game. Where things are finally happening now. It's very tiring to defend for so long. It's easy to make mistakes. Let's see, bishop e5. We will see bishop e5, I guess. What else? Ah, bishop g3. My, she might be considering with the idea of knight f4, winning the pawn on h3. This is the other move that she's probably considering. Here and take the pawn. I think on board 19, I don't know, I haven't checked lately, but the last time I checked, nothing was happening, even less now. <laughs> so, so this is going to end right now. Okay, and bishop g3 was played. I thought the endgame with bishop e5 was easier to win. But this should also be enough I thought the other one was easy to win because I was I was thinking that I was going to put a knight on f4 and bring the king in the king had to defend h3 and then this king got in and eventually you get another pawn Four. 
And now she will also get to uh, play bishop e5. Oh, that's knight h3 and bishop e5 has to be played anyway. Knight h3. Bishop d2. And she's still hoping for knight g4, no? Knight f4, I mean, to take it and, and play the endgame, but that's not going to happen. We are going to get the knight out on g1 and e2. All the way to d4. I still think the other one was easier to win. Here I still think that bishop e5 was easy to win. Am I missing something here? Isn't bishop e5 forced because here I was thinking I, I can take anyway and I wanted this I wanted this king to stay on h2 and then I wanted to bring my king all the way to d4 or to c3 and get another pawn okay this is the position now on the board Bishop c4. And now I still have to find a way to get my king in. Knight f4. Um, here, bishop d2, knight f4. Because I think that bishop takes might be more difficult to win, but it's just bishop takes and maybe something like bishop d5 ah you're still getting the king in like that okay the king will have to stay on g2 and you bring the king all the way probably still winning yeah h3 Yeah, there's too many pawns then. This is our position on the board now. This knight is going to e5, yes? Maybe this. Maybe knight e5. Is this still winning? Bishop e5. Bishop takes maybe. Bishop c3 played. And this is the same end game as before. If I wait, I will bring my king in. Let's say that I wait. And I'm even helping you out. Bishop b before just to see how I'm going to win this here. Let's say I wait here. How do I win it? I will wait. King e3. I will wait and I will put my king on f4. And then I will wait here. King f3, bishop here. I don't think this is easy to win, is it? At least not so obvious. 
The knight is a beast, yeah. <laughs> this is the, the position now. Knight d8. So here, knight c6, bishop c3, bishop e5 is what she played. Bishop d5, knight d8. And bishop d2. She won the pawn on h3, but this is this is isn't easy to win. Yes, I want to, to trade the dark square bishops, but white won't let me do that. And this is why I wanted to trade the bishop instead of winning the pawn. Ninety six now. Probably bishop here. Bishop c3. I am going to wait. How am I going to wait with the bishop on c4 or c6? <laughs> it's not going to be easy. Bishop e3 play. Bishop Knight F8 played. Yes, bring the knight to e5. Now put the maybe put the bishop on d4 and bring the knight to e5. Knight g6, knight e5, king h3. Knight g6. <laughs> the bird is alive. Ranier didn't kill it. <laughs> King g2 and now I expect something like bishop d4 or bishop f4. <laughs> the bird is back, yes. If you, wrote, if you saw that Ranier went after the bird, no. He's safe. He's sending greetings back to Cuba as well. <laughs> so bishop f2 here and knight e5 is what she wants. King h3. And do we get to finally trade that dark squared bishop? Like knight d3 and bishop g1. Can I bring the bishop to d4 now? Bishop e5. I want bishop d4 and trade bishops. Bishop e3 here. And I will play knight f2. Yes. That's it. Bishop d2, knight f2 wins this pawn on g4 as well. So that's the plan. Bishop f2, knight e5. Let's see knight e5 on the board. I think this was all forced. Yes, we king h3. Bishop d2 played. She wants knight f4. 
and and take on d5 so if bishop c4 Knight e5, bishop e2. Oh, king e6, and I will get to play d5, I think, at some point. Will we see 95 now? Ah, it's white to play, so let's let's wait for bishop c4, I think. King h2. Then uh, we can get into the other line with knight e5, king h3, and knight d3. This line that I liked with bishop. Ah, now I can take uh, the bishop. Hold on a second. Yeah. King h3, knight d3 is there, and knight f4. And trade the bishop if bishop g1. I think 95, 95 played. King h3 seems like the only move. King h3 played. And now she will definitely go for knight d3 and knight to f4. Knight d3, yes. And knight f4. Okay, she can... No, king g2, I will still play knight f4. I also have h3 to think of. But at least knight f4 and take on d5. And then my king is getting all the way to b4. Without anybody stopping him. Bishop G1 check here, takes this one, and then start. I can also play F5 and King F6, which seems much easier. <laughs> F5 now, maybe. Okay, let's wait for Andrea's move. <laughs> and it's over here she resigns knight d3 game over very nice squeeze by black here she found this nice trick with uh, bishop g3 and knight f4 and now all the games have finished we have two leaders Malcevska and Alexandra and Julia Osmak, who will probably face each other tomorrow. Some very interesting end games today. Yes, I agree. Very interesting uh, end games in in many games. 
thank you all very much for joining me today and tomorrow I'll be back at 2 p.m. CST with uh, round number eight. Hope to see you soon. Maybe, maybe the bird will be more quiet tomorrow. <laughs>